Darling. <coughs> oh, my eyes are so dry. Good morning. It's so early. Bedhead? No, I, I showered. It's still drying. <laughs> I swear I showered. It's just moist. Still hasn't fully uh, dried out yet. Hello, Grace. This guy been hitting the bottle all night? No, I I slept at like 2.30, 3. Feels bad. Your hair brown? It is actually. My hair is not like a, it's not like a black. Like I would say it's a pretty, pretty dark brown, but when you, I don't know if people notice, but it doesn't require much lighting in person to tell it's a dark brown, I think. Bruh, fix the color accuracy? Wait, what? Did something change? It looks dark today? Wait, it looks... It looks fine on my monitor. <laughs> Maybe you need a better monitor. How are you today, son? Feels like it's in the middle of the night. Yeah, I did. I did kind of make it more contrasty. Is it too dark? Do you guys not like? I, mean, I could bring in more light. like this too much it's all right it matches how the light is in EU right now uh, let's leave it at this much yeah I've been in the do oh whoops I've been in the darker mood life is dark does say vibey, I'll give it that. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Man bun reward at 10k? <laughs> I can't pull off a man bun, I think. Good evening, Mr. Natan. You are my favorite Korean keyboard streamer. Oh god. <laughs> Yay. You guys are ridiculous. Your old setup was good, but this is great. Hello, Dustin. How are you doing? Did you finish your homework last night? <laughs> Holy, how are you guys all awake? Tim Keyless? Dude, I was, I was with you last night. What? What's oh, poppin' DN? Okay. I did, finally? Nice. Uh, the gentle giant things are the one year eater of rock with the three months. Passiflora with the tier 1 Ironfish. Ironfish! Long time no see. They were the 17 months. Boy from Krypton with the tier 1. Uh, Daniel, Daniel with the 4. Hello, Dark Lumpy with the Prime. Scorpion with the 2. Chase.gg with the Prime. Nixtape with the 7. Cabe Kerfus with the Prime. Kessent with the 3 months. Morkman with the 3. Recompensator with the 3 months. Thanks for everything. Parasocial Keyboard <laughs> Roses Garden with the bits, thank you, thank you. And Bandeo, thanks for two months. <sighs> you know what I realized? How do you like ZS's work on my SIP emote? Wait, what's SIP emote? I can't tell because of all this copy pasta in my chat. Oh, I don't see it. Hold on, let me reload my chat. Reload overlays. Let's see if it shows up. Ooh, I see the Soran T sip. On OBS at least. I don't think it's transferred over here yet. Doctor Who, hello. Hmm. What really takes uh, ages to update? Yeah. You own any Dogecoin? I do not own any Dogecoin. 
<laughs> I'm mostly only in the uh, the major ones. What kind of coffee? Today's coffee is from Maru. It's their Ethiopia Chalbesa washed light roast. How long did you stay last night? Uh, I didn't stay for the whole stream, but I went to bed at like 2.33 ish. Maru's Ellie's Gem? Yeah, I want to visit the, the store. It looks so aesthetic. But I've been really liking their beans. How many earnings do you have on Fortnite? I've never played Fortnite. <laughs> I have never installed, never opened, never played Fortnite. I'll take you on a coffee crawl? Dude, I'd be so down, Tim Keyless. We can make a vlog out of it. Professional barista teaches me all the the, uh, the coffee gems of LA. 1 to 1.23? What does that mean? Huh? Predict? Oh, there's a prediction. Oh, the stabs. Okay. Have you said happy birthday to Chris yet? Wait, it's Chris's birthday? Twitter. Chris Toffer Yee. Wait, there's nothing on this Twitter. <coughs> nah, I'm too low clout for clout for Chris now. Chris is way too big boy streamer. What you are using things today? We are doing check Twitch. Just chatting. Oh shoot, it's his birthday? All right, we'll wish him a happy birthday. Can I show this? I can't show this. We'll say happy birthday and then go back. Dude, his stream's, his stream's popping. Okay, 12 seconds, 12 more seconds. Are you kidding? The same ad twice? Oh, okay. Wow, I wasn't invited to his kudo board. Feels bad. Happy birthday, Chris. You're so beautiful. Nut. Not invited yet, yeah, actually, though. I didn't get an invite for... <laughs> for this kudo board. Feels bad. Not popular enough. Um, Thibum with the tier one. Erentix with the prime. Nordhal with the one year. Thank you. Leo Cantus with the six. Homies Gaming with the tier one. Af Snakes, thank you for the 11 months. He's talking to you? Oh, GG, I exited his stream. <laughs> All right, we got some stuff to unbox today before the build. Got a lot of stuff, actually. Um, whoops, can't read that. Let's start with item number one to unbox. <clears throat> Any, any guesses? Chris went Hollywood on you? What does that even mean? No leaks, please. Ooh. Oh, no leaks. Some of you guys might know this deck. Chris, Nathan is hands down one of the nicest people I've met off stream. Yeah, I paid him pre before the stream started. Enigmas, puzzle hunt, playing cards. Yes. But this deck is special. Thank you for supporting Enigmas. We couldn't have made this project six without your enthusiastic support. Ooh, David Kwong, Dave Shukan, Chris Chelko, Billy French. You guys might know some of those names. Might sound familiar if you're paying attention. They made a pretty pog deck. Is that a TGR Alice? Wait, what? 
You sound like my third grade teacher. Is that a compliment or an insult? <laughs> wow. First deck I've ever purchased that sends you a pin. That's pretty legit. It's got a pin. Comes with a sticker. Let's open one of these up. That pin reminds me of someone's logo. Oh, okay, Soren. <laughs> he rebranded though. If you want good budget switches, get Gat Yellows, yes. What's favorite card game since you have so many? Ooh, favorite card game? What is my favorite card game? I like Pasoy. Is Pasoy? Yep, I like Pasoy. Or Big Two, whatever you guys call it. Why can't I? Whoa, what the? Clams feel holy. Thank you so much for the five gift this subs. What? And Cass, thank you so much for the five months. Hello? Wait, 30 minutes. 30 minutes for what? How are you doing, Cass? This is what the deck looks like. Ooh, that looks nice. Enigmas by David Kwong. DavidKwongMagic.com slash cards. Looks pretty. Hi friend, it was good to see you on stream last night. Yeah, Grace had her first stream back after like six months. I was lit. I didn't, I feel like her chat had an exponential increase in simps. Cause I used to lurk in Grace's streams before she went Mia. But man, yesterday she had some dank simps. <laughs> People were simping hard for Grace. All right. Each grid contains five items of the same type. Different grids have different types of items. Spell each item by taking one box in the first column, followed by one box in the second column. All right, this is way too early for this. What? Oh my goodness, there's so much to read. All right, that was side one. Side two. A different fish is hidden in each sentence of the new item below. Each of these fish has an extra letter inside. For example, Superstar Diner conceals the fish sardine with an extra T in it. Each fish contains at least five letters. Use letters from at least two consecutive words and does not contain word fish itself. All right, we're not doing this today. <laughs> uh, so this there is a game within this deck. If you can figure out and crack all the codes, uh, Mr. David Kwong has set up a game, a cryptography game. If it answers into the grid in order so that each has exactly five letters in the central five by five square. Okay, sure. Oh, one more. Plus means add word to end, minus means subtract letters in order, but not necessarily touching. Ooh. All right, this is the design of the deck. Let's go through. Joker. The two bonus cards included with this deck contain four puzzles. Each puzzle solves to a different single word, all of which are thematic in some way. When you have solved all four puzzles, visit davidkwongmagic.com slash cards. Wow, you could email him for hints. He's probably gonna get bombarded. All right, let's check out this deck. Enigmas. Oh, wait, that's it? Oh, I got debated. <laughs> I bought this deck thinking each card was like 
gonna be some hint to the puzzle, but it's literally just these two cards. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. The deck itself, I don't know, maybe there's something on the back. But it looks like the actual card is <laughs> normal. Yeah, the cards look pretty normal to me. I don't know, maybe there's something different about the backs that you have to really you have to really peer into. Let's see, if we take two different positions in the deck, do you guys notice any differences? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. They the same? Who knows? Maybe they're different. How does it look when fanned? Mm. It's alright. I just like the, the look though. The back design looks pretty nice. You just make it some card unboxing? Yeah. I guess this is the real meat of the puzzle. What about the magnifying glass? Uh, Asian Fist Odun, thank you for the two months. Do a magic trick? I can't. I'm a retired magician. Qjix? Q. Thank you for the prime. Sixth Sense, thank you for the prime set. Homies Gaming with a tip. I'm looking to build my own KB, but I can't find compatible parts that work all together. Any help or tips? This will be my first KB being made on my end. I would recommend you ask questions in the questions and help section of my Discord. All right, let's put this way. We want more stuff. All right, I have no idea who sent this, but based off the packaging, I think it might be coffee. House of Funk Roasting Co. This is coffee from Canada though. So I don't know, I don't know, maybe there's a letter inside? But someone, I definitely did not purchase this. Ooh. What? Whoa, <laughs> this is how they ship out their beans? Hey, Zambia. Coffee Cafe filter, mating hose, producer, elevation, natural fermentation. Reminds us of one of those watermelon candies. What? At House of Funk, we're continually developing funky flavor profiles. Whoa. I don't know who sent this out. I have never seen coffee packaged like this. <laughs> What the heck? Scan for more info. Reminds us of a splash of Granada liquor. Huh. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Does this person own this roasting place? They sent me a letter. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Leave zombies alone. Whoa. Whoa, what is all this? Nothing else. Okay, they sent me some coasters. Maybe this is like their brand thing. Ooh, these are some pretty lit stickers. Is that Emma Watson? No, maybe it's not. Maybe, eh, no, it's not. Free stickers. Oh. Mmm, 
thank you, thank you. I don't know if I should reveal their name, but they are a viewer. I recognize their username. Thank you. They don't own the roasting company. This is just a local brewery. I'm not brewery. It's just a local, there's local beans that this person likes and they wanted me to try it out. So thank you. I thought they owned House of Funk. So I don't know if you guys are interested. The, uh, they are called the House of Funk Roasting Co. Looks like they're based in Canada. Check them out. I want to see how you use this. <laughs> what? Oh. Whoa, what? Oh, that's that taste. This tastes fruity. Oh, that just comes out through the beans. Oh. This is more me. All right. I always forget this man eats beans. You guys should eat beans. It's good for you. Mm. All right, check them out. Roasting? Oh. Oh, they're kind of old, GG. <laughs> They're, out, they're about a month old now. Feels bad. <laughs> I don't think it's the client's fault though. Well, maybe it is. But I... This got delivered yesterday or two days ago. So it's not like I'm opening it late. I legit picked it up. Like this week. <laughs> One month? Maybe we'll see if... Uh, I can still extract anything from this. If they are airtight, it did seem airtight. Yeah. It did seem airtight. When I opened it, you could you could <clears throat> you heard the gases leaking. Huh. Packaging is definitely interesting. They should be okay, but not great. Yeah. We'll see. All right, we got more stuff to unbox. I think this is also fan mail. I have no idea. I definitely did not order this. Is that how you lube stems? Yeah, that's how you bag. Oh, wait, I should use this to bag lube. Ooh. Or can, can, is this considered can lube? Wait, I should just throw, chuck a bunch of lube in here and then woo. That's how I should lube on stream, can lubing. No, why not? <laughs> Definitely did not buy this. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> Wait, th is this from Twitch? Twitch Artist 2020? What? Oh, is this stuck on here? Wait, this might be from Twitch. But why is this stuck? Okay, I don't want to rip it out. I think it's actually just part of the design. Wait. There's no letter or nothing? I don't know if you were supposed to show that. Oh! It ripped. <laughs> It's 
supposed to be here, I'm pretty sure. Come on, Twitch. Now it's scuffed. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's what we're... Aww. <laughs> well, here's my brand new notepad. Wait, there's no note? No nothing? Is this from Twitch or did someone just make this for me? Wow. <laughs> it adds character? Yeah, I suppose. I don't know, maybe this is for participating uh, in the Twitch artist stuff this year. I did One of the front pages was for Twitch artist. I don't know, maybe this is a uh, souvenir for it. Comes with a pen and a notepad. Thank you. Should have heated the badge to melt. Yeah, oh well. Yeah, there's nothing on the packaging. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it is from Twitch. Well, thank you. This is my first ever, if it is from Twitch, first ever package from Twitch. Custom plaque notebook wood clipboard with gold pen trim on Amazon or something? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Twitch does have access to Amazon now, so. Thank you, Twitch. I should uh, I should ask my, my AM about that. All right, one final package. You guys can probably tell what this is. I received another care package. Is Damien in chat? Maybe Damien's not in chat. Time to unbox this. Is it a box? No. Whoa, whoa. Keep this bag away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs, beds. Okay. Wait, what did I get set? Holy moly. Looks like a t-shirt. Yeah, so they've been collabing with Tokidoki. They've been having some big collabs. Let's check these out. Yeah, it's all from the Tokidoki collection. Ooh, I got hoodie. This is my favorite thing. Oh, I got so many hoodies. Wait, Liquid X Toki Doki X Ninja? Oh, Ninja hoodie? What's a Ninja hoodie? Let's start off with the Ninja hoodie. Are they saying Ninja as in like... Like Ninja or like Ninja the Fortnite player? Yeah, go check out the uh, Liquid and Tokidoki collab. Ooh. This is their labeling. Whoa. It's, the, it's a ninja, not, not the Fortnite ninja. Dang, this is a this is a thick hoodie. Thick and heavy hoodie. This is the front. Front? This is the back. Wait! <laughs> Why? Why is he holding a hot dog? Huh? Does this mean something in the ninja world? What is this? What is this hot dog? <laughs> so this is uh this is their size large. Let me try wearing this. Go ahead. Uh, it looks like that clipboard notebook was from this corporate gift website. 
Alright, this is a large, but I feel like it's pretty large. Oh, actually? Nicely. <laughs> I don't know what this thought on me. These are large. Sleeves. Sleeves are a pretty nice length. Not too much rollage. Just a slight. Uh, I think this is mostly wrinkles though. It's got a little bit of rollage, but it fits pretty nice. It's too hot though to wear. Oh, that's the tag. I'm stupid. Oh! Ooh! Has liquid X Toki Doki here. I think that's it. How's the fabric? Uh, it's not my favorite material. It doesn't feel like it's changed much from the other liquid hoodies. It's like kind of... I don't want to say rough, but... It's like on the hardish side of fabric. I go. When's Liquid gonna sign me? When will I become part of Team Liquid? All right, let's check out this. Ooh, this is much softer. The fabric on this is much softer. This is the design liquid. Ooh, blue eyes? No, it's not blue eyes. <laughs> some, some lizard dragon. Theme of bobber. I kind of wish they would have gone for a different design on front and back. You just repeat it back and front. That's this one. This is a t-shirt. Ooh, this character is cute. Team Liquid. Ooh, any My Little Pony fans? We got a unicorn. We got some Rainbow Dash action going on here. Hell yeah. And then we just got, oh, is this just, oh, we got the Blue Eyes White Dragon here again. And a t-shirt form. Right, let's check out this other thing. <laughs> oh, these are sweats. I right, sweatpants. Wait a minute. Ho 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 ho. We got sweatpants. Team Liquid Toki Doki. Yellow Eyes Blue Dragon. Two headed. With some other lizard here. Oh, it's got a crotch scene too. Does it? It's got a crotch panel. This is the back. It's got a pocket. All right. Thank you, Team Liquid. She is my wife, Clamfield 2 says. Are you trolling me, Clam Feels? Is she actually your wife? Where do you get most of your sweatpants? This one is from Alpha Industries. Oh, uh, no, Alpha? Alpha, I think. All right, let's get to the build. LMAO, nope, no, no, trolling. She is just attractive. Oh, okay. 
I see. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> Konja, thanks for the tip. Did you get a set of the Team Liquid keycaps? I did not. Uh, I was not sent that or the desk mat. I just got sent the merch. Big Blaze, thanks for the tier one. You'll clear things in four months. Thursday, only thing with the Prime. G Kiwi Gabe, what the two months? I love watching you saving up to build my second build because of you, everything about you. What you do gives me inspiration. Wow, thank you. I'm not an inspiring person though. Take down the four months. Gus is in with the prime. Doofus Wolf is the prime. Busy with the prime. Wula Lyle with the 13 months. <sighs> Goldie Knight. Persian Knight heating under bits. Christmas came early with all these TS streams. I'm streaming every day until the 12th. I said it yesterday. Yeah, assuming no delays in shipping, I am streaming every day until the 12th. Uh, Carbonite Koala with the Prime, Weave Enterprises with the Prime, Arctic Arc with the three months, Ski with the four, Asian Fist of Doom with the two months. And F Conquest, thanks for the tip. I missed you opening the House of Funk coffee. Yeah, I did just now. MLG made, thank you so much for the Prime. I'm gifting a sip. Hey! Don't sit there. Don't sit there, Ben. <laughs> All right, let's get to the build. <laughs> Today we are building a Clipe. I don't think I've ever built a Clipe on chat, or on stream, sorry. This might be the first time we build a Clipe on stream. Uh, right. We are building with Gateron yellow inks. These are the V2s. Lube with Crytox Tofa grade zero. And desk keys switch filmed. So we'll get to this in a bit. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let me just confirm. Right. All right. So it looks like. The box pretty much looks the same as a feel box. 2Z greater than every other purplish set currently in IC. 2Z is lit. Gomurai Bob, thanks so much for the three months. Ooh. So I'm on your Discord, but I don't see a questions area. I'm a noob. <laughs> He does not see the questions and help channel. He has not read the, the server rules. You must read the server rules to gain access to my Discord. It is not simply enough to just join the server. There are some hoops and hurdles you must cross over. You are part of the many stuck behind the uh, the freemium wall that is called roll request. <laughs> Blue toggles, thank you so much for the five months. Vuem, Vimiwo, thank you so much for the three months. How in the world do I get rid of rattle on my cherry plate mount stabs on spacebar? Crytox ain't cutting it. Either you're applying it in the wrong places. Maybe you didn't apply enough. If you feel like you've done it correctly, maybe it's the switch. Uh, maybe it's your keycap. Hard to say without seeing it in person. All right, Mechanisk. This is probably where the uh, PCVM plate are. Ooh, we're gonna use the uh, ultramarine stabilizers to again today. Very beautiful. Custom keyboards. All right. This is actually first for me too. I have not seen the newer Clipes in person. Only the older Clipes.
Time starts once he finishes the unboxing. No, come on. Come on, give me more time. All right, looks like the foam. Uh, it's probably pretty similar to the, the VL. Looks like the same blue color. Still got two sheets instead of one. Yeah, this is Mechanics E White. Looks pretty pure to me. It's got the Clipe logo here. Giant PCV cutouts because it is, sorry, it does take universal USB, USB C, or just takes USB, or sorry, universal 60% PCBs. This is the bottom, clean slate bottom. It's got the new Mechanisk angled feet, which I like. Kind of makes this unique to itself. All right, this is the side profile of the Clipe. Not too bad. Take a oh whoops. Take a center post. I will leave that up to the client. All right, let's check out this box. They did not sit tell me anything about taking out the middle foam. Uh, Yo, the RFP desk mat? Yes. All right, it's just a Wilba PCB move along. Wait, what is this change in tone? Zambumon always used to say, Wilba PCB unboxing never gets old. And now he's telling people to just move along. What What's changed overnight? All right, we're going with a brass plate. No surprise there. Oh my goodness. Imagine using RFP desk mat and not flipping. Wait, is RFP desk mat still getting flipped? Hasn't he announced round two? Or isn't it, hasn't it run? The WT60-D Wilba PCB. Ooh. The way Wilba's PCBs catch the light, and the way you can see all these tracings in an accent color, so nice. And then you can also do boing, 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 boing. What is the thing at the bottom? This is his logo. This is Mechanisk's logo. That PCB is prettier than my entire keyboard. Yeah, this is a this is a nice color. All right. Shall we build the board? Let us test this. Is the RFP desk mat valuable? Uh, I know initially it was getting flipped, but I don't know about anymore. Is the black cat Ellie? No, it's my sister's cat. All right, let's bring up Via. Wait a minute, what happened to my Via? All right, 
Uh, let's see what layout this client is going. Layout in SI, would it be possible to program the, okay. We are just going straight standard. ENSI, I believe. Yes, no splits, just standard ENSI. Uh, let's just make this escape for now so we can test it. Okay, looks good. Enter the matrix, no 7U. You just want good old standard ANSI. Okay, now you're making me doubt myself. <laughs> Layout, ANSI, yes. They want the four mod keys on the bottom right as well. So it's definitely 625. That's just a style. I was thinking about using the right alt, right FN, or right control. Yeah, okay. Use matrix. Dude, it's already on matrix mode. Relax. Relax. You don't need to. Rem oh, that's true. That's true. But I re I've been remapping just in case. Matrix mode is bored for some reason. Um, Joseph Burkhart, thanks for the eight months. The Mad Shutterbug, thanks so much for the Prime. Vector XB with the Prime. Ritter, thank you so much for the Prime. Why do you prefer 7U? It looks nicer. IMO. Um, probably the only the only keyboard layouts currently I'm okay with going 625 for. Uh, would be pretty much any keyboard. Any keyboard where there's this short blocker, smaller blocker on the right hand side, I think 625 is okay. Um, like on 75% keyboards, 65% keyboards. I think in those layouts, 65% okay. I think 7U still looks nicer, like 90% of the time, but I think 60% in TKL, 7U looks nicer. <laughs> but, I don't know to you guys, some people don't care about 7 <sighs> Uh Is there a cheap tool to measure spring tension? I've mixed up some springs. I don't know if anyone uses a tool. People just use coins. You can use a coin and a scale. Uh, is it worth getting an HHKB with all the custom options out there? Yes. I would say so. I think an HHKB you don't have to like it. You don't have to keep it. But it is definitely a keyboard every enthusiast should at least try for a good amount of time. Try it, and then you can form your opinions. You don't have to fall in love with it. Oh, crap. But uh, HHKB is a rite of passage for the keyboard enthusiast. Oh. Ah, GG, we're gonna have a lot of stabs to do. <laughs> I did not prep stabs for the prediction. We're gonna have to do one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five stabs? We definitely going over an hour. All right, one, two, three, four, Oh, we're using all of this, I see. <laughs> what are you looping with? 
Crytox 205 Grade 0. Rip points? Yeah, rip anyone who voted sub one hour. <laughs> Gotta go sore on the streaming? Okay. I should stop betting on you being fast. I don't know, some, who knows, I might switch it up and come with prep stabs one day. That'll be the true excitement. You won't know if I'll have stabs prepared or if I just feel like doing them all on stream now. It's the real gamble. <laughs> Those are mechanic stabs comes with a keyboard, yes. Just kidding, I'll watch both? Hmm. Maybe Soran should stream himself modding Discord? <laughs> I was watching Urban stream this week. Was it this week? Was it two days ago? And uh, one, of, <laughs> one of his redemptions. <laughs> I forget how many points it is, but it's a Hangout and Tea Types questions and help channel. <laughs> That's so funny. I would watch Soran mod people. I feel like that could be an interesting stream. Dude, I'm going to lose my mind once people have enough points for that. <laughs> Yo, Chortle, hello, how are you doing? Key cult wrist rest getting flipped for 250? Oh, I saw that somewhere yesterday. I don't know if I saw it on Discord or, I think it was on Discord. I think I was there during the conversation. That's insane, 250. Wait, have they even shipped out yet? I haven't received my wrist rest yet. Are they shipping out? El Seba, thank you so much for the four, two months, thank you. I'm Danny Low with the Prime, thank you. I'm good, my guy just chilling. Nice. Why don't you stream in IRL category? Uh, I don't know if this is considered IRL category. <laughs> I'm just in my house. I've had mine for legit months. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Let me get away. <laughs> get away now, man. This is why you don't finish tabs fast. I feel like she's been getting more interested in the keyboard building process as of late. She's been bugging me a lot more while I build keyboards. Is there ever an issue of cats shorting boards because of their fur? I have yet to experience it, but it Definitely is a possibility, I suppose. The rare chance their fur builds up static? I don't know, maybe. I do sometimes get shocked when I pet Luffy. Static from cats? Yeah. What if hair gets in the stabs? Who wills? Stuff will always naturally get into. Your keyboard. Oh, she's not coming. Static from cats is because of friction, not the hair. 
I see. How are you liking the Wano arc so far in OP? Dude, it's OP. Dorney, thank you so much for the nine months. Uh, Jealous, thank you for the bits. Ozzy, thank you so much for the six months. Thank you, thank you. Oh no, she's coming back. They spent so much on animating. I feel like it's a different studio, maybe. Yeah, but the art, the the art style just also drastically changed too. Will beg for egg. Thanks so much for the bits. Thank you. Also, when should I start playing Christmas music? If ever. It's already December 2nd. Oh, it's already December 2nd. Fudge. Fudge. Oh, what the? Double date? Thank you so much for the three gifted subs. Thank you. What the heck? And Atlas, thank you so much for the bits. Neck, basket, thank you so much for the two months. Love the stream, man. Shout out to everyone in the Discord for being so helpful and welcoming. Wow. Right now? It's too early right now. Please, no, please, no Xmas Christmas music. You don't like Christmas music? Deep fried yuan. Thank you so much for the three gifted subs, too. Whoa, thank you. All these gifted subs. Kipling, thank you so much for the five months. Play it now? I feel like now is too early. According to one of the regulars in your server, TKC oversold extras on GMK. Oh god, really? How are they gonna resolve it then? Wait, how do you re- How do you oversell extras? Did you just input the wrong number? What? Like, don't you sell extras? Don't you list extras knowing how much you have to sell? Ugh. Wait a minute. Shopify problem has problems updating. I know I had that problem working with it before. I guess maybe. I guess it could be a Shopify problem. They added an extra zero. <laughs> Do you not lube the inside of the stem at all? Uh. When you say inside of stem, I'm gonna do that with the wire. <laughs> Most overrated GM case For me, it's probably Olivia. Don't ban me. Dang. Most overrated GM case set? I don't think it's Olivia. What could what is considered overrated for a GM case set? Mm. Hmm. I think. What are you saying about my baby, Olivia? Uh, I don't think Olivia is overrated. Mr. 
Mr. Sleeves? I don't know if Mr. Sleeves is overrated. It's not like there's that many out there. <laughs> uh... Mizu or Striker? Mm... Most overrated GMK set. Oh! I don't know, is this considered overrated? Maybe Pulse? I never understood Pulse. I don't like the colorway for Pulse. <laughs> uh, but I feel like people don't care about Pulse anymore. But when I was around, Pulse was a big set. Darling? I don't think Darling was overrated. I think Darling was a very nice set. Miami Knights is overrated AF? Okay, you take that back. Miami Knights is hella dank. I don't even think Miami Knights is overrated. I have not seen Miami Knights appear on a keyboard for a while, I feel like. Laser? I don't know if Laser is overrated. I mean, the whole like cyberpunk vibe is like, it's been very in for the past couple years. So it's just kind of mainstream. It's just mainstream, I feel like. Hyperfuse overrated to me. Was Hyperfuse hype though? I feel like Hyperfuse. I think Hyperfuse only gets talked about because of the memes around it. But I don't know of many people that speak highly of Hyperfuse. Hyperfuse just comes out in conversations because <laughs> it still hasn't finished, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like if Hyperfuse finished, there was no memery around the Hyperfuse, it would be talked about less. Hyperfuse for me too is an okay set, which is why I also use it as my uh, my first modifying testing keycap set. I, I haven't, I don't care much for Hyperfuse colorway. I think Hyperfuse on Artisans, it looks much nicer, but as a keycap set, I thought it was whatever. Hyperfuse Artisans look kind of nice. Handerbite overrated? Okay, buddy. Handerbite's the greatest set to have existed. Noren, things were the prime. Did you ever find your set? I did not. Wait, my set? My set of what? Oh, CG, sorry, it's not, well, it is technically CG Buen, but you now like CG Buen. Hello, <laughs> how are you doing? How long did your stream go for last night? I am feeling dead because I lurked on your stream last night, but it was a good time. It was a good stream. Uh, when will we see more of the beginners got on YouTube? I'm hoping to put out one more tutorial before the end of the year and the next year there will be more. Genuine question, what happens if you use a keyboard without keycaps? Assuming you can keep the keyboards clean, will the switches get messed up from finger oil and stuff? Uh, it wouldn't get messed up. Unless you like, you ate, or your fingertips are dirty, and you start depositing stuff inside your switch. Because if you type without a keycap, every time you press the switch, things could fall inside there. So, uh, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> I don't know if anyone's used a keyboard without keycaps for that long to have tried, but I guess you could potentially have stuff getting inside your switch and then you would need to replace the switch because it would feel scratchy and maybe not even function. Yo, Quantrick with the 26 months, hello. The man of the hour. The man who open sourced. His most famous keyboard, Quantric. Thank you, man. He's a big time POE streamer now. I saw his stream 
Was it two days ago? Dude, he's pulling numbers. When are you gonna quit your job, Quantric, to be full-time streamer? Huge POE streamer? Yeah. Actually, though, no bet. <laughs> Released Q files to have more time to play POE? Oh, that's the big reason. That's why. That makes sense. He probably got sick of people asking, when is Q happening? Can I commission a Q? And Quantric was just like, F it. I'm just going to release the files. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Can't wait for my one-off Q. Okay, this is a lot, but they'll just come off. Uh, on YouTube, you could do a video on basic Frankenstein switches. I'm excited, Holy Pandas, Paco switches. Yeah, I'll definitely get there. Definitely get there. Messages about Q is for sale. About when Q is for sale since post zero. Thanks for being there. It was it's so long, I ended up missing the KR2 deadline. GG. Well, Mr. CG Buen, I've got one. I mean, if you want to trade for like half your artisan collection, maybe we could talk. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty good way to debase the aftermarket for your board TBH. Is no band an expression? Mm, I don't know if it's common. I, I've always used it though. Yeah, I clarify no band. Hello. That's lingo with my friends at least. It's like the IRL version of dash S, but when you're being serious. <laughs> now I can make Hachi, <laughs> okay. Verdonix, thank you so much for the five months. Carathos, thank you for the four months. It's on Urban Dictionary? There you go. Um, did you buy JTK Sakura? I did not. <laughs> Those switches out of focus right now look like a bag of weed at first glance. Maybe, maybe it is. Are you assuming what is on my desk? Are you getting it on Thai tea? Probably not. Smoking channel, <laughs> they are getting into the... Oh, question chat. I think... I think I'm going to make a new Instagram. To just dump film photos in. What should I name the new Instagram account? Oh, for what? Oh, for my film photography. For like my film photography, that's public. Tea Films? I thought about Tea Films, but Tea Films, I feel like gives off more of the uh, like video connotation than film photography. Tea Films was the first one. He never learns? What do you mean? Tea Picks? No. Tea snaps? Ah, Tea snap sounds too... I don't know, snaps reminds me of Snapchat. Sounds kind of cringe. 
They have Fox Box? Ooh, they have Fox Box. Kinda down. I'm also wondering... Maybe I shouldn't... Photography? Oh, that's kinda clever. That's kinda clever, actually. Photography. <laughs> um... I'm wondering if I should make like a a public how do I say this? A public private account? Where like it's not my private personal account, but like I would upload stuff that I'm comfortable sharing with like viewers. Use Quantrix idea? What was Quantrix idea? Physics official, things from the four months, Slumpy Chris, things from the prime. Peter McTeha, definitely not going with that. That is an insult to Peter. Teha Voyeur? Uh, maybe. Teha Sites? Teha Sites? Use Major Spooks idea? What was Major Spooks idea? Oh, Teha Sites. Hmm. Teha Ra? Hmm. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. <clears throat> Tail hobbies because at one point you'll ask, should I make an account? <laughs> no, I actually will never make an account for my playing cards. That, that you can clip and ship. I will, <laughs> magic is not something I'll go into back probably. If I do, if I do, I don't think I'll ever get to a point where uh, <laughs> I'd be sharing it with the public. Feel good music? Okay, buddy. Teha tapes? But tape? Like when you when you hear Teha tapes, you don't think of film photography, you think of like video. Why do you think mechanical keyboards hasn't faded in passion for you, but the other hobbies have? Wait, what? What what other hobbies have faded for me? Um, why do you think mechanical keyboards hasn't faded in passion? Hold on. I need to get her to leave. She's eyeing. reasons why it hasn't faded well the hobbies I'm currently in are all ones I genuinely enjoy and I mean there is a creative very creative side to keyboards right like I, I've said this many times I feel like custom keyboards I view them more as art than like 
tech per se. Yo. And like for art, there is some level of like resonance with you, uh, emotional attachment to a lot of folks. And there's constantly new stuff coming out, which keeps it interesting. How do you prevent your keeps from getting hair from your kitties? I can't, but I vacuum every day, sometimes multiple times. Uh, I have lint rollers everywhere. I got one right here. <laughs> Always lint rolling. Put one in your car, put one in every room. Have extras stocked up. Yeah. And then when the keyboard is not in use, make sure it's covered so hair does not unnecessarily get in there or anything else really. Do you think you'll get bored of keyboards or of streaming? Ooh. Mm. I feel like for keyboards, it depends on... I mean, keyboards aren't up to me, right? I'm... I'm still at the end of the day, I, I am also another consumer of the keyboard hobby. I'm not necessarily part of the group that's designing and putting out products. As long as there is a group of designers and yeah, I guess designers that I like, I think that's what'll keep me in the hobby. Uh, for streaming, that's a good question. I don't know. It's the nose of oh, this. You like my nose? <laughs> In the frame. <laughs> Did someone say Teha Tones? Uh, streaming? Uh, yeah, I still don't know. <laughs> I mean, I will, I, will, I will continue to stream as long as I can, but I feel like streaming has its limits. Why don't you just post that stuff to your normal tea types for photography? Is there a reason to bucketize it that way? Yeah, because I want to keep my feed nice. And like people who follow me for keyboard pictures might not necessarily care for like the film pictures I take of a random stranger on the street <laughs> or, or some gas station that every film photographer takes pictures of. Uh, do you see yourself getting into more of the design aspect? GMK Teha said. You know, initially when I started off, and especially after going full-time, I, I feel like I do, but I don't know if I want to anymore. <laughs> I also don't know if I can. Like pumping out YouTube videos as hard as it is, I still can't pump out one video a month currently. That did not happen this year. There, I don't think there's a way I could maintain the level of streams I put out, the amount of videos I want to put out, plus doing like product design and then figuring out the back end and distribution for that. I don't think I have the capacity to do all of it. <laughs> uh, maybe I will turn Maybe I'll turn to actually designing stuff if like my my streams and videos become non-profitable. <laughs> but yeah, I think for now, I just want to specialize in video. What does Ambumat say? People not only follow you purely for the keyboards but because it is you behind the camera. But then when you want to do a variety on Twitch, you start about having but then when you start doing one, but then when you want to do a variety stream on Twitch, you start talking about having a second stream because of that. It's a trade-off that I think most followers will take. Huh? Oh, you're saying keep everything on one channel. I guess for Instagram, it matters less. That is true. 
because I don't monetize my Instagram. I don't know if I want to monetize Instagram. The clean feed and other stuff? Yeah. Like my reasoning for separating off YouTube and Twitch was for sponsorship purposes. But Instagram, I don't really intend to monetize. I just kind of want to keep Instagram as like a clean slate portfolio in a sense. Instagram doesn't have that big of a market. Yeah, that's true. Instagram sponsorships also uh, not really worth, in my opinion, in terms of payout for the hit to my brand. I'll ask again, do you have any intentions of designing your own keyboard? Wait, I literally just answered this. Uh, maybe, okay, I guess it wasn't clear. Intent to design my own keyboard one day? Yes, that would be nice. And I feel like people expect that of me. Like because I've tried out so many keyboards, I feel like people would want to see what kind of keyboard I would put out. Yeah, that is definitely, that is definitely something I would love to do, but it is not a priority for me. Kind of like, kind of like how uh, MKBHD, I don't know if you guys saw his latest icon release. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not on MKBHD's level, obviously, but like, I don't want to just slap my name on something and put it out unless I like the product. Like I will probably do that with certain keyboards, just kind of make it a collab. Uh, someone just wants to use my name and a little bit of customization and put it out there. But I do want to eventually put out like a full, I worked on this from the bottom up. It's not just a name slapping thing going on. And there, there is a certain pressure to that too. <laughs> and just the stress of like, can I live up to everyone's expectations? Is it gonna be well accepted? I wanna make sure it's done right. What price range would you want your keyboard to be? If I put out a keyboard, well, like a full keyboard, it probably wouldn't be the most affordable keyboard. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't intend to make it like ridiculously expensive, but it probably won't be super cheap. Just become a pro Fortnite player. We love Fortnite. Okay. 1K for TKL. You heard it here. Private buy only. Dink. Eight fifty. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Down the line. But it's not a it's not a major goal for me yet. Do a clear keyword. You really like your clear CG. But also, I'm so sad, chat. I dropped my hydro flask today. No, it's dented. G G. <laughs> yeah, it fell on one of my, like the the rolling stands for my light, <laughs> and the rolling stand won, clearly. Feels bad. Now I can no longer fill this up to its full capacity. It has shrunk in volume. I'm pretty sad. <laughs> it adds character. I don't know about that. <laughs> you need a new one from LTT? Oh my goodness. Mike Emmett, thank you so much for the Prime Canadian Cactus of the Three Months. At what point do you stop doing client builds, if ever? Ooh, that is something... That, that's an interesting question too. I do think eventually I'll close off... Cl 
client builds. But I don't know how I would replace that because client builds are currently what gives me stream content. And there's no way I'm purchasing every keyboard to build for myself to sustain stream content. But I feel like client builds also are currently taking away from making videos. So that I have not figured out. <clears throat> But I don't, I don't see client builds going away next year. Um, I do think long term though, I'll probably stop offering client builds. Or if I do, it'll probably be, probably be for like just super loyal customers or friends and family. Oliver, thank you for three months, JV. Jay Vamatos, thank you so much for the tier one. Wamen with tier one. TRN, TN, thank you for one year. Tan Bowie, thank you for the prime. You can reduce the number of clients you take if and only if you start reviewing them since you'd have more content. Yeah. That might be a good idea. Maybe just do like. Maybe just do one, one build a week. Because currently, I mean, currently Twitch is still my main. But I think down the road, I want to make Twitch. I think I want to make YouTube my main and Twitch kind of like my supplementary platform. Just kind of a, it's an opportunity for, for viewers to hang out together. But <laughs> it's hard. Or it's, I am, I am making it hard on myself. I could put out half-assed videos, but I don't want to. <laughs> I want to put out nice videos. And I think a part of it also just comes from the pressure and stress. Of like, my position. <laughs> I don't think people realize you have built over 140 different models, not boards. Yeah. I should have started documenting those keyboards a long time ago too. If you do one build a week, the whole build will be stabilizers. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Twitch versus YouTube streaming? Ooh. Um... I think the only thing that is really holding Twitch alive, that's keeping its boat afloat, is the community that Twitch has built up. Uh, the video codec quality of YouTube is significantly better on YouTube than it is on Twitch. Uh, I, I guess the chat experience is still much nicer on Twitch, but like chat experience, that's something YouTube could easily fix and implement. Uh, they could easily implement emotes they could allow for chat experience. Uh, whether whether BTTV and Frankerface Z get support for YouTube or not, if it doesn't, a plugin will come down the line. But uh, if you're starting off, YouTube definitely you could grow faster, I think. I should try that. I should try streaming on YouTube one day. It would ping 300 something thousand people and see how many people would tune in for a build. YouTube? You can't? What do you mean I can't? I can stream on YouTube. I just can't be streaming to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Implementing a good chat functionality for Google is hard for them. Look at Hangouts, Allo, I guess. <laughs> no, I only go against terms of service if I stream to both at the same time. I'm not, I don't have an exclusive account to only stream on Twitch. Being a partner does not mean that. 
there are, you have to be only like the big top streamers have like actual, you can only exclusively stream to Twitch. I am just a regular partner. <laughs> I don't have an exclusive contract with Twitch. I just, Twitch, I just have still the standard uh, ex content exclusivity clause. Or if I stream something on Twitch, it has to be exclusive to Twitch for the first 24 hours. We're mixer, that's where I started? Dang. But you are a top streamer? Okay, G. You lie. You bant. LTT don't have exclusivity with Twitch. LTT isn't that big of a streamer by Twitch standards. <laughs> like we're talking like probably a minimum 10K plus for you to have actual like exclusivity contracts with Twitch. That's the ones where like you're getting paid. Teha biggest streamer? Okay, cast. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like the amount of money Twitch brings in for LTT is probably like, it's probably marginal compared to their YouTube videos. <laughs> LTT streams to YouTube and Twitch at the same time though. How are they allowed and you aren't? Uh, either LTT has negotiated something with Twitch or they are breaking Twitch terms of contract. Uh, the moment you become an affiliate or hire with Twitch, you sign an exclusivity contract clause saying whatever you stream on Twitch, Twitch has to be the exclusive platform for the first 24 hours. Uh, it's not something that's necessarily enforced by Twitch, but if they wanted to, they could come after Linus. <laughs> I don't think Twitch enforces it much, but... Oh, we have Twitch staff here. Zonic, hello. I am correct, right, Zonic? I don't know if you work for... I don't know what part of Twitch you're working for, but... Yeah, it is technically against terms of service to multi-stream. But it's not something Twitch really comes after people currently. Yeah, is gonna get LTT banned? I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just an engineer. Uh, no worries. Alright. Quick question. Do you bag lube stems and springs or do you hand lube them? Depends on the time crunch. Whoa. I do bag lube. Uh, especially linears nowadays. Dude, that's the other thing. <laughs> I I don't know, is it, would it be crazy to at one point just hire a full-time luber? Like lubing takes up so much time and there's no way, like let's say I continue to grow, there's no way I can lube switches. <laughs> like it just takes up too much time, it's not worth the effort. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Maybe from a company standpoint, I should hire a full-time luber. Ooh, Sean, hello. Get an intern? <laughs> I approve of Zentic lube jobs, Urban says. Oh, but then that's such a feels bad, paying someone full-time rates. <laughs> their sole job. <laughs> Could you imagine your life? You just come into the office, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. You just sit in a cubicle, lubing switches. <laughs> That's such a sad life. <laughs> you probably develop back pains. You probably develop like neck pains from looking down so much. Dude, that sounds better than my normal day and I'll get paid, GG. <laughs> get a med student who wants to become a surgeon. 
Wait, is the music? Oh, Nami stepped on my speaker. That's why I wasn't hearing the music. I think you could design something to be 3D printed. Yeah, I definitely could build a machine. It just, yeah, you're right. A machine would amortize over time to become cheaper than hiring a full-time Luber. Why are you still wearing the tag? Oh, I'll take it off later. Norbar said he wanted to make it. Yeah, I've, I've talked to Norbar about it. He, I think he's given up for now, but he did, ha he did have intentions to actually go through with it. Hopefully, by the time I get big enough to need to hire a professional full-time Luber, such machines will be somewhat accessible, readily accessible at least. I did a lubing stream the other night that lasted almost seven hours and someone in chats said I essentially lubed for an entire work shift and that depressed me. That's me too, Major Spooks. Like if I actually properly lube, I am a pretty slow luber. Like it takes me a lot of time. <laughs> Which is why I've just been bag lubing linears as of late which I think is fine for personal builds to bag lube linears. But I take like four hours for 80 switches. I would say that's on the fast side. 80 switches would take me at least seven or eight hours, I think. We know we see lube stabs. Okay, buddy. Okay. One lube will suggest for 65 gram chili USB to switch. Bag lube only? Who knows? I might go the pudsy route eventually and do springs only. <laughs> or, I mean, we talk about me not needing to give client services. Who knows, in the down the road. I mean, it still baffles me. We have not figured out stabilizers. I think the biggest reason anyone hires me for a build service, it's not for the soldering, it's for the stab tuning. And I don't know, maybe next year someone figures out stabs. <laughs> I'm sure some factory, as the hobby gets bigger, will eventually figure out how to get consistently lubed switches out of the factory. And once lubed switches out of the factory and stabilizers, technologies, changes, there might not be a need for build services to exist. Gotta get the NK spec stabs. <laughs> Alex Roman Iris thing for tip. What Lubu just said for 65 gram Zelios V2s? Crytox 205 grade zero. Augie actual thing for three months. Hello. David with the nine months. Uh, I am not ortho in your game. Swarge Bruder, thanks for gifting a sub. Thank you. That is when you become Taya typed. Are you done? No. I have not tested this. Hopefully I don't need to retune it though. Did you find the seven you? I still did not. I don't know where it went. Ready for the goat stabs? Oh God, is is Glorious actually making stabs? Let's see. Pundemonium things for the two months. Pinky things for the five months. Stop. 
stab rattle there. Music kind of loud? I can lower the music. 80082 looks good? It is good. Alright, done! I'm done. With stabs. Alright, we had these two. In a separate bag with the lubed and film switches are two switches. One is completely stock and the other is lubed only. We decide we're putting them unmoved. Let's not put in the stock. Oh, I see. I think we have enough. Okay. I think we have enough. Did I finish under or over? 59, 15? Gotta keep these predictions spicy. He's not gonna retest? No need to retest. I just needed a slight touch up. That was too long, man. Ooh, this sounds very. It's gonna sound clacky. Maybe. It's got that longer pole too. Dead lemon things for the two months. Thanks for the streams and YouTube videos. No problem. Ask you with the eight months. Yo, Mr. Medi, long time no see. I've been telling him that it's two minutes left when it was actually five because he is slow half. That's toxic. That is toxic. At least Soran's scam won't scam miles me. What do you mean? What do you mean? Who is going to be the next tier types to lead the Twitch mech keep community once you retire, do you think? Uh, I don't know. Depends. Who is going to win this current race of the next generation? Once you get canceled, GG. Yeah, I gotta start causing drama. I too dream of one day posting a twit longer. Seems like that's what all the cool kids are doing nowadays. You either gotta write your apology on a Talk or a twit longer. I think that's how you grow your platforms. Gotta get involved to post a twit longer. And then you come back with even more followers somehow. <laughs> okay, cats. <laughs> I 
I know it's gonna start with hello nerds. Yeah, my apology will start with hello, hello. Oh, I would end my twit longer with see ya nerds. See ya nerds, Taya typed out. Speaking of tweet longer, you need to tweet more? <sighs> yeah, Twitter... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tweet about though. I didn't need to tweet more. Twitter's gotten kind of boring lately though. Maybe it's just the people I follow. Tweet about your Discord and how we're toxic. <laughs> how does the channel point distribution work on predictions? You get back? So everyone contributes to the pool. If you're on the winning team, you get back proportionally to how much you contributed to the pool. Is my understanding. You ended up doing stabs in an hour? Yes. How do the ink yellows compare to say creams? In terms of smoothness, ink yellows are much smoother out of the box. Ink yellows are known for also their shorter travel distance. They have a slightly reduced travel. So I don't know if that's something you're into. What ring size did you get for the hex? I don't know. It's been years ago. I think I think I got an eight. My finger sizes go eight, nine, ten, which is nice. Easy to remember. I think Pinky is. I forget. It's either five or six. Oh, I forgot a ring finger. Ring finger, probably an eight two maybe. Bratwurst fingers. Have you ever used GMK on a typewriter? No, I have not. <laughs> Are there any hobbies that you wish you could get into, but you don't have the time and or money to? Oh yeah, tons. I would love to get into audio, but <laughs> audio is ridiculously expensive. Uh, I would love to get into, I would love to get into cars. I've always had a somewhat interest in cars. I would also love to get into watches. I would love to get into... I have yet to enter the espresso hobby. The machines I want for espresso, very expensive. Uh, you should have said that about film, but here we are with all the Hasselblad. Okay, the Hasselblad I got is relatively cheap compared to it's not a modern Hasselblad, it's, it's an old camera. It's not, <laughs> it is not five digits. Modern Hasselblads are ridiculously priced. Well, no, once you jump into audio, once there's an audio channel, yeah. Yeah, we all saw the pick of where you got it. Yeah, I mean, come on. I picked up the Hasselblad next to some beat up trash cans. I would not have picked up an expensive Hasselblad near such an area. Look at that airy cinema lens. No, no, I cannot. Yeah, I mean, I still haven't even entered. I don't, I would like to think I haven't even entered that deep into all my hobbies yet that I'm currently in. Okay, outside of keyboards, I've gone pretty deep into keyboards. I've gone pretty, no, I don't think, I still have not even gotten that deep into like camera stuff. 
I've broken like the mid tier, I would say, but I'm still very far off from like high end stuff. Cards. Uh, I guess cards I've broken into high end, but there isn't really much of like a tiering for cards, I feel like. I uh, forgot to ask, do you develop? I don't, CG Buen. I currently send out to a lab that does the uh, developing and scanning for me. I would love to eventually, but I don't have the space and time for it currently. You officially, I have not officially given up on knives. It is just on pause. Just on pause. Color developing is so not worth it. Which lab? Uh, I believe they're called, I think Photo Vision Prints. They're up in uh, Portland, Oregon. But I've been, I've been very happy with the results so far from them. Do you have any film photographer inspirations? Uh, I can't say I know many film photographers. I've been like wa I've been watching the like mainstream YouTuber film photographers, but in terms of like professionals, I haven't really been following any. <laughs> oh, I know my my inspirational film photographer is this guy named Foxbox. He is the only he is a Twitch streamer. I aspire to be like him. Ken Rockwell, the greatest? Hard disagree. <laughs> I mean, I still read Ken's stuff, but I don't know if I would call Ken the greatest. Can't wait to buy his book? Dude, same. I can't wait to get it on that Founders Edition Fox box photo book. You aspire? Okay, sir head. <laughs> Papa spicy thing with five months. Taste test? What? No sprite thing with five months? Plot test? Plot twist? Teha ends all his typing tests with C and nerds. Is there any good articles or resources that show key that show noob keyboard crafting streamers how to set up an overhead camera? <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's like a dedicated keyboard streamer video, but no, just just look up C stands. That's how most people are doing it currently. Uh, yeah, C stand, like the letter C, stand. That's how you achieve overhead. Uh, generally, you can go for a goalpost setup if you want. You could go for, uh, I don't know, you could attach stuff from ceiling, but C-stand is generally how most people do it. <clears throat> how much was your C-stand? I purchased mine from Newer on Amazon. Time to spam your inspiration, Foxbox. Yeah, Fox takes really nice pictures. He's he's dank. Let's show up. Let's stalk his website for a bit. Dude, 
Daniel J. Kim. Chesa is an upcoming photo book that documents and explores the themes of cultural memory and intergenerational loss through the landscapes that surrounds our family's graveyard in South Korea. This photo is nostalgic for me because I used to do this when I was young. Wait, is it? Oh. Has he added anything new? Okay, I've seen all these pictures, but. Dude, look at this. He's got a lazy Susan for his models. Let's go. First time I get to watch the stream live? Hello. Okay. Oh, my eyes are so dry. Please promote Fox's Twitch. Uh, what are they doing? They're essentially going to a shrine. Um, how do I describe it? It's, it's like, is shrine a better word or like tomb? What would be the, but they're essentially going to a shrine um, and paying respects to uh, someone who's passed. Generally people will take like a uh, soju and some people leave out like food. Worshipping their ancestors? Yeah, I guess you call it that, yeah. Worshipping. Um, but it's like a more personal... Uh, more personal, like more high-end-ish... Tombstone, I guess. Or shrine or tomb. It's not a graveyard, like there's no... It's not like an American graveyard where there's just like... You just go to a cemetery and there's like... They're all just lined up, like in Korea people get a little bit more personal. I mean, there are places where you just buy land to do this, but I feel like in Korea, it's a little bit more personal. Like you can, you just like have these out in like areas. But uh, my, my grandfather, who is still alive, we have one of these for our great, gr we have one of these shrines for my great, is it great or great great? I think it's great great. Yeah, because he, he he runs a farm in Korea. <laughs> so he just has land. So we have a shrine for either great or great great grandmother. And I, we, we would used to go there every time I visit. Uh, what is somebody that you would really want to build a keyboard for? Like anyone in particular or not? Yeah, Faker. Anyone have hookups with Faker? Let me know. Um... Faker. All right, let's get to soldering. And me, JK. Oh, Grace too. Yeah, I need to build her a keyboard still. <laughs> it's been a. Uh, I've been holding on to it for a while. Just DM T1 Twitter as if they check. Do you think they would respond to a random Twitter account? That, that doesn't even have, that's not even in the six digit following count. No way they respond to me. Faker, I would love to build a keyboard for. My favorite Korean artist, his name is Park Hyojin. I would love to build him a keyboard. Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite actor or actress. No, I don't have one. Park Jin Young? No, I don't really care too much for Park Jin Young. <laughs> Keep going, who else? Ooh, Cass. Cass might have connects. I mean, Amber goes by something Llama on Twitch. Uh, there's this popping off streamer named Shannon Williams on Twitch, I hear. Um, 
Oh, I've been listening to a lot of Jamie li recently. I like Jamie's music. She's doing some interesting stuff. If you have hookups to Jamie, uh, I'm a big Chunga stan too. I love Chunga. I can ask Jamie. Dude, Jamie's music is dank. <clears throat> Shannon who says Maddie. Ooh, GG. Uh, I need to plug this in. Sonia Shida? Yeah, I guess Sonia Shida. They are still OGs in my heart. I grew up listening to them. Chunga so lit, dude. Chunga so lit. You mean Jet? <laughs> Can we discuss Zambumon's impending legal problems? Wait, for what? Why does Zambumon have impending legal problems? If I start off with photography, what camera would you recommend or should I just use phone cameras? Um, I would still personally recommend you go for a dedicated camera. BB Solid, ooh, BB's music's nice too. Getting sued by Doggo Inc. What? Who's Doggo Inc? Uh, Mara Kuz, thank you for the bits. You didn't say thank you to my other 100 bits. I'm sad. I'm so sorry. Thank you, thank you for the 100 bits. I, I haven't been paying attention to alerts today. Andy Rees with the Prime. Adith PM with the Prime. Polly Pew? Polly Pew. Thank you for the Prime. Papa Spicy. All right, I'm caught up. Thank you, thank you. Let's get to soldering. Point and shoots are good. Yeah, I mean, if, well, at least stock camera apps, they don't let you choose settings, but you could get like pro apps that let you control uh, individual settings. I feel like the biggest thing to learn when you start off, uh, you should definitely try to familiar, familiarize yourself as quickly as possible with uh, what each of the three pillars do and how they affect your image. I don't know, it's not that hard, but I feel like people, I don't know why people have a hard time grasping that, but yeah, that would be nice. Just crank the ISO, am I right? Is that a USB part fan? Yes, it is. Um, Ace of Spade, things went for the two months. Bro, the dust? Okay, it's not dust. Well, I guess it is dust. But at least you know it's working. This just accumulates as it filters the solder. I cleaned this like two weeks last week. It just gets used often. Replace the filter? Yeah, I should. I've just been streaming too much. our favorite time of the day yes it is it is now time for <clears throat> sponsor time we have a couple sponsors of tia types the first sponsor that we have is dixie mech head on over to dixiemechcom dash tia types gmk think caps still live it seems like gmk 8008 r2 group by has been announced is what i'm seeing is the interest check over? Uh, hopefully you guys took advantage of the Black Friday Cyber Monday sales on Dixie's website. If not, oh wells. But you can also purchase desk mats, uh, keyboard containers. Using my code sweet tay at checkout saves you 5% off in stock items. Who the hell is Fortnite Burger Man? 
The next sponsor that we have is KBD Fans. Head on over to kbdfans.com. That's where I recommend a lot of people to start. They've got tons of... Is there a soldering iron command? There might be. It's the TS-100. Just type an exclamation gear. It should link you to my gears list page. Yeah, KBD Fans has tons of in-stock, affordable, but okay quality products on their website. Check out kbdfans.com. Oh, is this new? I just noticed Wilbur had text here. <sighs> the next sponsor that we have is Keycult. Head on over to keycult.com. Uh, this keyboard up here is a key cult. Oh, you don't see it on stream. That we built yesterday. Be sure to tune in to their announcements stream tomorrow. Hopefully some big ones. But they make fantastic premium high-end custom mechanical keyboard kits. Check out keycult.com. Next sponsor is Novel Keys. Head on over to novelkeys.xyz. JTK Grizian still alive, as well as uh, GMK Yuri Round 2. You can also purchase tons of in stock items like desk mats, switches, uh, keyboard merch, you name it. I have a discount code with Novel Keys using code Tehawk Keys at checkout, saves you 5%. Off in stock items. The next sponsor that we have is Prime Keyboards. Head on over to primekb.com slash types. You can still pick up some desk key switch films, which we are using today with these switches. Uh, silent alpacas, Duroc stabilizers, and more. Check out primekb.com slash types. Uh, what are those two LED lights in the back of your room, those light bars? I have a command exclamation lights, but those are Astera Titan tubes. The next sponsor is SwitchMod. Head on over to switchmod.net. Switchmod.net slash types. GMK Muted 2 running next month, but the interest check is live. It's gonna be at the gun. It's gonna be a good set. It's gonna sell lots. Mr. Sleeves 2 will try to be timed. I did announce yesterday Mr. Sleeves 2 will be running. So if you guys Considering getting Mr. Sleeves were muted, now is as good a time as ever. SMH, he dodged me. Also, Novel Key, Serica, Tomorrow Serica 2. Also, this month, Switch Mod GMK Key. Yeah, I don't announce until they're live, Mr. Zombiman. But because you're mod. Serica 2 going live on Novel Keys December 3rd, aka tomorrow. And GMK Key. He is missing half of the stuff. Wait, what stuff? I don't announce until it's live. <laughs> I already have too long of a sponsors list. Just gotta announce as it's live. Ace of Space, thank you for the two months. Tungi Boys, thank you for the prize. Spacey, thank you for the four months. Uh, Good to see you, Nathan. Question, anything new that you're excited about? Jabuti Hum. What kind of emote is Jabuti Hum? <laughs> uh, anything that I'm muted? I'm definitely excited for muted too. I am going to probably pick up multiple muted two sets for sure. Uh, 
あーパパパワーマザイあー yes the last sponsor that we have is zeal head on over to zealpc.net slash tier types you could pick up a decent selection of switches there telios v2s very smooth zealios v2s very tactile and he's got silent offerings for both check out zealpc.net slash tier types I'm gonna buy so much Serica muted. Dang. Yeah, Serica also a pickup for sure. Actually, no, I'm not gonna pick up Serica. Zombumon didn't add 1.7 u backspace. I'm kind of sad. I really needed it for my keyboards, but this designer just refuses to add it. I, don't, I can't support it anymore. Are you getting the Olivia NK65? Ooh. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> the thing is, I can't just keep buying NK65s as they get released. Because they're all, I mean, there's still an NK65. Nothing's changing. And I, I don't know what I do with a stockpile of NK65s just recolored. But the Olivia one looks very nice. Uh, my contribution to Muted 2 was yell a lot at Obloski and tell him to add R5 to the base kit. Yeah. Uh, now that I'm finally making enough money to do so, true. Urban got a job. I think it was last month. Well, yeah, it has to be last month. Did you join Dalco Mini? I did not. It looked it looked nice. I don't know. Something about it wasn't screaming like, ooh, I need it though. But it, it definitely looks nice. Do a God's plan thing where you just go out in public and give the NK65s out to randoms. You know, CGBUN, I I actually wanted to do that this holiday season. Like I wanted to make a holiday video where I just buy keyboard products and just give it out to randoms, but it's COVID, <laughs> so I shouldn't. Maybe next year. I want to do a holiday kind of video. Basic builds, hello! How are you doing? You made one last year? Yeah, well that wasn't really like giving out to strangers. I was just hand delivering a keyboard for a giveaway winner. But like I, I was thinking this year I was gonna like just have a pool of products to just give out to strangers and film their reaction, but yeah, COVID happened. Should I join the Olivia NK65 even though my wife said not to? Yes, yeah, screw your wife. Before you finish the soldering, can you zoom in and check if it has the 2020 revision mark? There should be a small... There should be a small black circle with some letters engraved. Small... Oh my goodness. I didn't even see that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta show this. I saw the text next to it because I... I was like, this is new. I haven't seen him do this. But now there's... Wilbur has taken one step further. This must be shown to chat. <laughs> Wait, what is it called? What does Zombumon say? It's called... Oh, it's the 2020 revision mark. All right. This is how you tell if you have a 2020 revision marked WT60D mechanisk. So this looked new to me. I haven't seen Woba. Maybe I have, I just haven't noticed. But we zoom in closer. No, we can't focus. 
There is the revision mark. It's not a revision mark? Oh! Well, okay, it's not a revision mark. Zombumon just trolled me. If you don't have the DN version of this keyboard, your stonks just went down. I only want to purchase a Clipe if it's been built with a DNWT60D. I refuse to use a non-DN version. <laughs> Sawcon revision. <laughs> I think all PCBs have some kind of Easter egg. Oh, I see. I see. Just checked my no DN, Sag. Primo Nick, thanks for the prime sub. First Garden, oh, hello, thanks for the three months. Have you been, First Garden? Moontar with the four. Thank you, thank you. Music a little loud. I can reduce music. Should be quieter now. All right, almost on soldering. And then we can assemble this. What time is it? Oh, it's 12.30. Text checks, <laughs> check text later, okay. Oh, hash. Has Shannon moved yet? I remember last time I lurked. She had a sub goal for moving or something. Or what? Dono goal. Or is that next year? Play some jingle bells? No. Clues to think seven months. Whispers it may or may not be about Faker. Shannon said to come before Christmas? Ooh. Dang, exciting. All right. I have finished soldering. Let's see how straight these mod keys are. Lizzie, thank you so much for the prime sub. Uh, is anything fixed? No, nothing. Ah. <laughs> ah. Nothing is fixed. Um. Ooh, I messaged my friend about it too. Wait, are you a Shannon Williams simp? Grace? Grace simps for Shannon? Anyone know what date the NK65s are being restocked? I do not. Ooh. 
Who is Shannon Williams? Wait, the... Oh, I messaged my friend who works for T1 about V. Oh, it might be the same friend. Actually, you might know more people at T1. Grace with the connections? Dude, Grace has hella connections too. I told Grace she could low-key like get into... Get into like the managerial aspect of streamers slash influencers slash gamers. I'm a nobody? Do you lie. I lurked on her stream last night. Not only does she have the connections, I mean, she's got an army of simps herself. But I know, I know Grace has, her connections are low key deep. Uh, glad to see you more into photography, especially film, even though you don't have a Yashika mat. Uh, I mean, I, so the thing with, the thing with, is it JC? Yeah, that's who Cass knows. <laughs> um, oh, also, he was supposed to send me T1 merch. He like asked for my address and my info. I still haven't gotten T1 merch. Feels bad. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Crap, I lost what I was gonna say. I have merch for you too? Ooh, wait, merch from Cass? Cass has merch. Oh, right, oh, right, right. Yeah, 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 Amber's, yeah. <laughs> I just have, I need to start like a new closet for all the merch I hoard. I've got way too much merch. They only did it to stalk you? True. Uh, I think that's it in terms of what I need to check for streams. <sighs> Should I call Matt one two four as my first media format? I've never tried Matt, so I can't say. I mean, I'm also new to film as well. I'm not the best person to ask. But as someone who has never tried film and only digital for a decade or so going into film, I have been enjoying every aspect. It's nice just slowing down, taking the time to think. Okay, how straight is caps lock? Ooh, left side looking pretty good actually. Don't think I need to touch it. Yeah, left side looks good. 35 full manual is nice. Yeah, I only have manual stuff. No. Full manual, everything. All of my, oh, ex well, ex with the exception of the RZ, everything works without batteries. All manual. What I love about film is not having 5K photos after every session to go through. Makes you take your time. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't do professional shooting with it, but I do imagine that would be nice. Negative feedback is great. Yeah, I've been watching negative feedback. I like his style. Okay, backspace. Wait, is pipe fixed? For show, I'm ask him to connect us on Discord. Dude, Grace and Cass connecting. Grace, if you want to get into managerial stuff, Cass is the person to ask. This is your once in a lifetime opportunity right now to quit your daytime job and start managing your simps. You should def, def try Sinistil. I did purchase my first roll of Sinistil. Have not shot with it though. Do you have any 35 vintage cameras? I do. I have two currently. <clears throat> Pipe key is fixed. All right. Ah, 
title sip manager. Okay. Backspace actually looks good. Enter could be slightly straight. Er. Do you shoot digital photos too? Yes, I do shoot vid uh, digital still. But every time I go out, I've just been taking film now instead of digital. Man, this lighting is... Okay, I like backspace. Could be slightly straightened. Who did you work for before keyboards? Um, IBM. The Princess JC says make him a VIP so he can talk. Oh, I, I don't know his Twitch name. <laughs> I'm probably sure, it's probably some variation of his Discord name, but <laughs> I'm down. Uh, on the yellow inks, can you only lube the sprays or can you lube the housing? You can lube the housing in stem too. It is still an MX. Uh, actually, I forget. It's been a while since I've opened up a yellow ink. Okay, bottom row looks good. Wait, how does how does Grace know JC? I can kind of guess how Cass and JC know each other. How does Grace know JC? Okay, looks good to me. Let us see if this works. Bring up via what solder iron iron are you using the TS one hundred. I know him from my influencer friend, Francis Lola. I see. When I first started introducing, when I first started streaming, she introduced us. I see. All right, keyboard works. Fine, let us make this function key again. Uh, I'll leave the layout as it is. The client can choose to re reprogram this in the future. Okay, gonna go wash my hands. Be right back. Care, thank you so much for the Prime. Blizzy with the Prime, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna wash my hands. Hello. I 
come back into the chair stream? Wait, chair stream is generally a good thing to come back to. That usually means I have finished most of the building process. And that you've come for the right time. Is the floor warm? My floor is too cold for bare feet. Uh, maybe you just need better feet. No, my, my, my feet are actually cold. <laughs> I like having cold feet though. As long as it's not like freezing, I like being cold. I, I hate being hot. Okay. Let's take off the keycaps. No, no, I, I don't have in-floor heating. I ain't that rich for a facility with in-floor heat. Can I send you a link to this dope desk mat I got? Uh, perhaps? Uh, if you're a sub, links are allowed. In-floor heating is more efficient in the long run. I rarely have a need for my heater to be on though. I got this uh, Drop Mito Godspeed desk mat. Okay, that's an old desk mat. <laughs> that's been around for a while. <laughs> I need heated floors in my bathroom. Get fuzzy crocs? I have owned a pair of fuzzy crocs in the past. During college, I owned a pair of fuzzy crocs. Crocs are goat. I think they deserve, I mean, <laughs> not deserve. They get too much hate. But I know deep down, if no one was watching, people would wear crocs. Heated keycaps poggy. <laughs> yeah, Crocs are legit. They're so comfortable. So easy to wear. You can dress, you can dress up or down with Crocs. You could even customize your Crocs with gibbets. How many shoes out there? are customizable like Crocs are. My brother CRP Tulip gonna come way before Dracula and he only ordered in like spring or summer of this year. Dang. How do you dress up with Crocs? What do you mean how do you dress up? You just dress up. Wear a suit and boom, Crocs. You have dressed up with Crocs. Like no band, I would wear Crocs with suits. Oh, wait, I don't need to remove this. I should have this here. Installation process for this is fairly simple. Hmm. Ah, there they are. That's in the Harley Dent, yeah. Oh, it's magnetized, dink. Dink.
How come Klee Bay sounds much better than Tofu with basically same mounting and shape? Uh, the density of the aluminum and the overall keyboard is different, I would say. That is probably the biggest contributing factor to the Klee and feel. I don't know if you guys have ever held a feel. Wait, what the? Okay, I'm just get. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> once this gets screwed down, it'll come down more easily. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have held a feel in person, but that a feel is dense. Like it is a thick boy. Clipe heavier than expected. Yeah. We can weigh this. <clears throat> I know a few people that knew you before you became famous. They say very nice things. Stalking. Wait, who do you know? Tell me. I'm not famous though. <laughs> Feels bad. They just know me. They just know me before. Imagine being famous. Do people approach you when they see you? I have been approached, I think still less than 10 times. I have been approached in the past, yeah. But it's not like every day I get approached. I think so far since I've started publicly sharing my life on the interwebs, it's still under 10 times. Did you watch Night Blue? I watched old Night Blue. I don't watch new Night Blue. Well, I haven't, <laughs> I don't really watch League streamers in general anymore. I haven't watched League streamers for a while. Uh, oh, only five. Okay, these are extras. W JWK Linears or Creams on Vega? I have PC plate. I have not built with JWK Linears. I personally, I like the sound signature of Creams better though. Um, 8 bit derp, things for two months. Don't read this. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Nightwalker KG with the three months. Thank you, thank you. How much does a random Frank P desk mat typically go for a resale? I'm not too sure. I've not kept up after the initial round one release. Did you pick up C and Nerds for him? No, I actually didn't. <laughs> I did not. Wait, Nuka, who do you, what mutuals do we have? Did he DM me? No, he did not. I'm curious what mutuals we have. Mm, is it the stem? Is it the stem or that bottom housing that contributes to so much of the scratch on kale and cherry switches? It is both. Both are ass. <laughs> Well, stabs are those. These are the ultramarine uh, stabilizers from the cask. Any Black Friday Cyber Monday pickups? Yes, I picked up a a warmer jacket for California standards. All right, the keyboard has been built. Oh, yikes. Okay. I thought this was cat hair, but the plate is just scratched. 
This plate came with a scratch here. Is there a sound difference between a brass plate and an aluminum plate? Yes, big differences. Uh, we have mutual, you know, Shilk? Oh God, did I just get baited? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I feel like I got baited. All right, what keycap said on this, guys? What keycap set for this chat? Sorry, Darling. <laughs> darling on white would look pretty nice. GMK Calcium, rip. I don't own Cafe, unfortunately. Finer things I do not own as well. Nathan, so slow? Why am I so slow? Terra, I also do not own. We could try- uh, Did I- What set did I put Darling on? Now that extras are sold out, flex darling on the Wii. Oh god, what the heck? Huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, this is gonna sound... like a train out. Imagine spending points on... <laughs> okay, Wesley. Why need trays when you have bags? True. How do you do keycaps on that fast? Do you really not know? Oh wait, you're a one month sub. Anasaki does not know the ways of the nipple technique. The patented Tea Types nipple technique for installing keycaps. It is scientifically proven to be the fastest way to install keycaps. It's the nipple technique. He does not know, or she does not know. Have you not caught on after watching so many of my streams? Is GMK set on keeping these trays? I hope not. <laughs> I would hope they change. Allegedly someone faked a sale of GMK Darling. I didn't see the post, but how did people how did people come to the conclusion it was faked? Is it just too... Yeah, I, I mean, I did see the post. I don't know how people concluded it was fake though. <clears throat> All right, this is the nipple technique for those who don't know. I mean, 
Your keycaps generally look like this, right? Well, I mean, assuming you still use the trays. If you use this, if you put your keycaps in a bag, nipple technique does not really work. But it's hard to grip the keycaps vertically. So you grab horizontally like this. But you can go swoop. And you pick it up. But now you can't install your caps in this papega formation. So you place on nips. You re-grip to vertical position. And then now you can install in the right properly. That is the nipple technique. You use your nipples, just think of it as the MX cross crucifix. It gives you stability and grip. The nipples are the crucial part. And once you become proficient, once you have mastered the nipple technique, it takes you very little time to install keycaps. <clears throat> Can't wait for TY viewers to show up in other streams. Asking them to use this technique. Wait, people already do. I've, I introduced this nipple technique like years ago. <laughs> Lol stacks didn't know the nipple technique. Yeah, all these new wave, all these new generation streamers don't know. They don't know. You must educate. Yeah, see, like, it's hard to grab keycaps. <laughs> SMH new gen streamers. Um, I'm joking that do it all the time. <laughs> I think I want to get into streaming just to demonstrate the nipple technique. Yeah. You know, I, I might even say, if you have bobs, uh, regardless of what you were endowed with, or you could artificially grow bobs like me, just get fat. It might even be a benefit. It helps you guide. All right. We're done with the build. Did Tifu not want Sing in bottom row for his 60%? No. Um, a lot of those uh, like higher, higher tier gamers also not very... They don't like change because they have to adjust to it and it can affect their gameplay, so... Yeah. Alright, the keyboard is built. This is the Clipe T... R4 and the E white. Looks pretty clean. Mods, can we start words per minute? Sure, Nathan. Yes, you can start. Mods can start the words per minute bot. Wow, I. Oh no, what the heck? What? Hello? What? <laughs> Wait, oh, autofocus just died today. What? Alright, three. Huh? Is it this ninja? Three, 
It's the ninja. Three, two, one, boom. All right. Uh, let's weigh this. Some people asked why does it sound different to tofu? Keyboard fully built. Ooh, just shy of 1400 grams. It weighs pie amount. Three pounds, 1.4 ounces. This is exactly pie. GMK Darling Monkey Type theme yet. I don't think there is. Oh well, I guess we're sticking with this. What typing test is this? This is Monkey Type. Once again, this is the Clipe built with a brass plate, Gateron Yellow Ink V2s, lubed with Crytox 205 Grade Zero. It's got a fairly, fairly light coating. I wouldn't say this is over lubed at all. Um, yeah, it feels it's a good coating, not too thick, not thick at all actually. Desk keys, switch films, GMK Darling keycap sets. This is what this sounds like, and it has the two sheets of foam installed. We do do. Wait, why am I making so many? I made a little bit. Hold on. Too many errors. Forty-two. Dang, I could have potentially hit one fifty. I peaked at like one forty-five. I saw. I think. Feels bad. Still too many errors. These are what the mods sound like. Have you ever used Mavis Beacon? I did growing up.
This is a brass plate. Very clacky, yeah. I think this is this is too much clack. I don't I don't think the yellow inks are necessarily a problem. I think it's more so just the the mounting, the brass plate combined. Because I have used yellow inks in the past. I think we built up a JL2 with one, right? Or JL1. It sounded pretty nice. Uh, it feels pretty smooth as well. This person did a good job with the lube. Lube job is pretty nice actually. It's just uh, the, the build, this build doesn't make it shine. 142, whoops. Ooh, tea leaf got it. Maybe if you take off center post, yeah, maybe center post removal might help, but from what I've seen, removing the center post, it only affects changes around sound around here, no? Does it greatly affect the overall sound? Do your wrist float when you type? I try to keep it floating as much as possible. One more. I kind of hate the big USB cutout. So this is a this is something you have to. Oh. So why some designers, or at least I can speak for this one specifically. The reason, at least on the 60% like this too, designers go for a big cutout is so that you can use uh, universal PCBs. You don't have to specifically use the Mechanic and Wilba WT60D here. You could use a DZ60 if you wanted. You could use uh, really any 60% that's meant to be used universally. So that's meant to account for that. Some people like it, some people don't. I think for the price point of a Clipe, it's not too bad to have this. Like the Clip Bay is still somewhat on the affordable spectrum, I would say for a custom keyboard. Uh, this is definitely on the nicer side of affordable, but yeah, I think it's fine for this price point. I feel like for the feel, I would have personally liked the feel to have non-universal support, but the feel also supports universal PCBs, so you can't make accommodations for everything. You either go for uh, universality and a little sacrifice to the aesthetics or you make it absolutely no tolerance for other stuff other than yours. Why are all mechanics boards 60%? I don't know, maybe he likes it. He is coming out with non 60% though. The, the tinned is a TKL, hopefully coming out soon. All right. I can't. All right. <laughs> I did see someone claimed push-ups. <sighs> Time to do push-ups. <laughs> Scuffed fingers. <clears throat> Who claimed push-ups? Damn it, Jay. All right, this is for Jay. <sighs> Gibby's fate? Damn it, Gibby's fate. All right, I can probably do 20 right now. I think I need to increase. I need to increase the uh, channel points. Now that 
this prediction stuff is a thing and it uh it skews points towards people i gotta up the numbers <laughs> Get buff. Hello, Mr. Daniel. We sh we stalked your website earlier this stream. I don't know if you saw. All right, twenty push-ups. Oh. <laughs> I'm sore after yesterday. I feel yesterday's burn. All right, that was two. Holy crap. Oh, I feel the burn. <laughs> Don't up the points. I almost have 200k again. I'm streaming every day this week. I don't know if I could do push ups every stream. Form on point. It's hard when you're 47, yeah. You should add a pull-up bar. Where would I put up a pull-up bar here though? I don't have like a door for a pull-up bar to latch onto. Yo, Tyler, hello. Dylan Zone, thanks so much for the two months. Panda my hat with the prime. Why even do push-ups if you always dread doing them? It's for accountability. I will never enjoy working out, but I need to be kept accountable <laughs> to exercise. Use your light stand. Why even? <sighs> Kek? Okay, buddy. What's the stream schedule this week? I am streaming every day until the 12th. Uh, let me pull up my calendar. Tomorrow? What am I building tomorrow? Ooh, someone just sneezed loudly. We have a build tomorrow. We have a we have some stuff on Friday. Mode 80 build <clears throat> on Saturday. There might be giveaways for the mode 80. What am I building on Sunday? Sunday is the Alpine 65 proto build. Oh, I have also received a SCOG reboot to play around with. I am building that next week though. SCOG reboot is next week, yeah. Do you ever miss anything about your old job? Yeah, the food. Not that I got a lot of free food at IBM, but the snacks. Uh, I mean, it is nice having coworkers. I guess I do kind of miss coworkers. It does get a little bit lonely sometimes, just streaming alone, no coworkers. I mean, I guess my my family's my coworker, but they're not really coworkers. My family's just there. <laughs> just to like have a nice coffee break with someone midday. Aren't we your coworkers? Okay, I meant IRL coworkers. Like it it was nice going on like coffee runs with my coworkers, you know. Did you get a free Model M? No. <laughs> there isn't a best sounding switch command. I should add one. What do you miss about me? Ooh, Jax, I, I miss your uh, sweet smile. I remember I filmed you smiling, tapping on a stabilizer key at the NorCal meetup. Jax Static looks very cute. I don't know if people have seen Jax in person. He's a very cute guy. Can confirm. Very nice to you. To stream getting coffee yeah eventually i'll probably start streaming coffee but oh it's a hassle because i have to plug in stuff i have to like bring extension cords i guess and then clean up afterward yeah do you miss my calves you have nice calves mentally visuals um 
It's 19 months, so we aren't even co-workers. <laughs> Coffee tasted the best before I knew what I was doing. What? Really? Uh, a crew thinks we're in the prime. ZZ knew they were going to miss Ramakara build soon. I'm not sure. Mike Town with the prime. I am not sure. I still haven't decided what colorway I want to order either. Still think pour over was best when I didn't have a scale. Wait, why? Is it because you're too picky now or what? You should run a latte art competition? I don't even know how to do latte art. <laughs> Yo, Soran, how'd your stream go? Did you finish? How was your stream? We need a separate Instagram called Tea Drip now. I'm not that much of a coffee expert. I don't know, sometimes I feel the ratios are too watered down. No, I feel you, Daniel. I bought two beans from uh, Maru that I've been trying out since like a couple days ago. I have found the, race, the same ratio does not work for both. And it's actually been helpful keeping a log because I've been like testing different variances to the process to see if that changes anything. You should keep a you should keep a, a journal. Yeah, I have found between these two bags. Uh, what did I get? I got the Ethiopia Chelbesa washed and the their single origin Ethiopia blend. Very different. I think before I had scale, I went ham on ratios. It's the water, but my water is always the same. My water gets run through a filter. Give me 25 plus G of coffee, dang. Did you ever try Onyx? I have not tried Onyx yet. I should probably start branching out more to out of state coffee. Try a different filter, I see. Ratio should be changed based on coffee freshness, ele elevation, and origin. Yeah, that's what I've heard. As well as uh, water temperature. Oh, I guess that's more so on the roast, but roast level, but. Go espresso or go home? I want, a, I want an espresso machine, but the one I want is expensive. Does your family appreciate your coffee enthusiasm? My parents do not like it. Uh, they're not a fan of acidity or fruitiness. My mom absolutely hates uh, fruity undertones. What espresso machine? <sighs> Tim? I would like to think the Linnea will be enough for me. But I don't know. I feel like once I actually start, once I if I ever have the capital to invest in a nice espresso machine, I might go down a whole rabbit hole and want something even nicer than the Linnea Mini, yeah. But I did get to try the Linnea Mini in person and it was more than enough for me. <laughs> I feel like the Mini will hold me out for a while until I want a better machine, but yeah. 1 to 15 is recommended by Chemex. Yeah, I have been trying 1 to 15 for these. I found 1 to 16 was a little too watered down for me. Denny's coffee, best coffee. Linnea, five grand. I think the mini is around there. Five or, it's like five to seven-ish, depending on how much you uh, accessorize it with. Trust me, Linnea mini is more than enough. But I also, one of my life goals, Tim, is to run a cafe. That is my retirement goal. I want to eventually be a cafe owner. And hopefully a cafe that doesn't hemorrhage money. <laughs> I would like to run a nice cafe. Jerry is bad, thank you so much for the gift is sent. Uh, my friend has a Gagia. Yeah, I know Gagia is very popular. Uh, the decent DE1 is also very popular. But I'm also a big sucker for looks. The La Marzocco Marzo look is just so classic, you know? Also one of the reasons why I like the Chemex, feasting with your eyes is just as important as tasting with your tongue. You gotta have some eye candy. 
Uh, if you get anything with more than one group head right now, you're going to spend too much. Yeah, I mean, I also don't have a need for more than one group head. <laughs> so. Your sweater is cute, Lucky. Thank you. What was the one that Ryan... Ryan has the decent DE1. From my research, it seems like people recommend the DE1 uh, if you're a espresso aficionado and you care more about your espresso quality. Uh, but from the pours I've had with the Linnea Mini, is it Linnea or Linnea? I thought it was Linnea. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. It was more than enough for me, what I got from the LM. My eczema don't, but my tongue, what? What grinder do you use? I still use my Encore Brazza. I've had it for like, I purchased it as soon as I graduated. I've had it for, I've had it for four years now. Four, three years? Four or three years, yeah. Encore, best grinder for the money, no cap. Yeah, I mean, for its price point, the Encore Bratz is perfectly fine. I still have the same uh, Hario scale that I purchased when I started. Yeah. Bratz is so good. You have two? Why do you have two? Check out the Slayer single group. You can customize it. Yeah, I've heard of Slayer too, but I, have, I haven't really been paying too much attention to Espresso because I know I won't be purchasing one anytime soon. How do you clean your Encore and how often? Um, I don't have the, I don't know what they're called. There's like the cleaning beans that people run it through. I don't use that. I've just been cleaning it like every month, which I don't think, I think people recommend every week but I'm too lazy to do it every week. I just clean it. I have a brush to just like get everything out. You gotta wash the grinder and all the, what, the gasket. Yeah. Do you have a method for cleaning your PC? My PC? No. <laughs> I just clean my PC when I feel like it's time. <laughs> Any chance you grab a couple of your favorite boards and show them off quick? I have one right here. This has been my favorite as of late. Oh, I did. The last time I cleaned my PC was July. <laughs> Surprisingly, it did not have a lot of cat hair. I built, so I built this PC with Mr. Christopher Yi. I don't know when that is. When did I, let's check my YouTube. When did I build this PC? Uh, YouTube, Teha, Types PC Build Stream. I built this, oh, it's been over a year. I built this PC October 20th of 2019. I did not clean this PC until July of 2020. And when I opened it up, there was actually like, there was barely any hair. So I think we're good in that department. Over the course of, yeah. And I live in a bigger area now. So there's less hair compacting in the smaller area, so. Didn't you build a new PC recently? Yeah, that's a different PC. Not even in the intake? No. Surprisingly, no. It did not take me long to clean my PC this July. Come on, Nathan, that's a lie. You lose tons of hair because you're 46? Okay, buddy. I like how you can just search everything about you in history and find it. That is one of the nice things about having a YouTube channel. <laughs> I mean, once you have videos, or like having all these streams as VODs up on YouTube, I can just kind of search. It doesn't even have to be public if you just start documenting, start journaling, and you have some sort of search functionality. It has been nice sometimes. Any plans on an ITX build in the future? Yes. I want to join the T1 gang. I have not joined the T1 gang yet. Do you miss your old, old setup? 
No, I don't. <laughs> I hate watching my old vlog. Okay, I don't like enjoy. I don't enjoy watching my old vlogs either. But it is nice to have like reference. Like if I need to get information, I can just pull up a past vod and be like, oh, this is what happened then. We can have a replication of Sean's build, dude. Same. Where it's setup tour, it's been it's being worked on. <laughs> it's being worked on. It was so low key back then compared to now. Dude, my my old streams, man. Teha types. Yeah, my old streams were something else. New vlog when I think there should be one going out this week. Shows the amount of growth and improvement. Nah, no growth, no improvement. Same old. I'm just old news now. <clears throat> I can't hang. <sighs> Too old. You ready to gift those stubs? No, I am working on it, cartoon. I am working on it. I'm working on it. I low-key missed the old notification emails of when you subbed followed. Oh my. <clears throat> I still have not decided. I did work on it last night while watching someone's while watching a CG Buen stream. I don't know if I want to split it. Setup versus gear. And it seems like some people even just have a desk setup video. I could probably make a video out of just my desk. Because my desk is like integrated to my streaming setup, but I feel like milking it over multiple videos is also not good. But come on, bruh, yeah. Uh, is there a benefit to switch to gold plated springs? In terms of feel, I'm gonna say no. Um, gold plated aftermarket springs generally tend to be better in terms of sound. But if you're, you're gonna lube it either ways, I would I would always recommend lubing springs. I watched an old Mr. Keep stream and someone said that oh that Nathan Kim guy is up and coming. Have you seen his videos? <laughs> Dude, Mr. Keep's been around for a while too. He he was like one of the people I talked to at the time because we were both like trying to grow our platform. Did you process? Yeah, I sent four rolls of film to the same lab, Foxbox. Their uh, wait time has just been insane. Let's see, are they working on my, what day are, ah, they're working on film from the 17th. I think mine got delivered on the 19th. Oh, it's pretty soon. My film got delivered to them on the 19th. So hopefully, it may be if I'm lucky, before this week is over, I'll have some film back. Thoughts on Bill Evans? I love Bill Evans. He's He might be my all time favorite jazz. Artist. Want to see what I've built today? Sure. John told me there's an actual dude who goes by Foxbox. That takes longer than I thought? Yeah, supposedly it is busy season for photographers. So. And he's a photographer too. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, do you keep, do, should I keep a photo journal? Is that what people do? Do people document their photos? I don't know. Like, is there a need to document photos? Cause like I start take, I've started to document like the coffees I'm trying, the keyboards I'm trying. Do I need to keep tags on like photos? I've rolls of film I've had processed. Photos are documents, what you're talking about? True. If you are develop, ah, I guess if you're developing, yeah, you might want to record like the processes you've tried and what worked or what didn't. Okay. Usually for photo journals, I take down settings I use for shot. I do not remember what settings I shot at. <laughs> Mixes, temps, times. I see. Notes are good if doing commercial artwork. To note and track down folks if doing candidates. Mm, I have started to take notes 
on people too. Because I can start linking items and stuff to people. So I'm going to start keeping tabs on people in my life. Check this guy out. YouTube.com slash C in an instant. Oh dang, he shoots 8 by 10. Ooh, I'll check him out. Confirm Teha CIA. Usually I shoot between 125th to 400, so my band of shutter speed is pretty minimal, I see. Are you talking about Rome? Yeah, I started to use Rome. It's been pretty fun. It's very addicting, like trying to set up everything and build up my database. Lightroom told you the settings on the pics. Uh, for digital, yes. That kind of metadata does not get saved for film though, I think, right? Does film? No, it doesn't. I don't think it does. Yeah, stocks. Do you want to have clean air for all as much? What? Do you use any old? Yes, I have two 35 mil cameras currently. I, I read though, there's like some, for 35 mil, there's like some code, right? Where like some cameras can like automatically detect the, the film speed of it or something. That was pretty interesting. I didn't know about that. Care.com contacts G series. Oh, it's out of stock. A multifunction unit capable of record. Oh, I should show this on the stream. Is this gonna leak anything? Recording data between frames, data such as time. Ooh, but this only works for contacts then, right? I don't have a G2. Does this mean I need to pick up a G2? A black G2 looks kind of nice. Some other cameras could do it. Ooh, I see. <laughs> Bro. Is it time to pick up a G2? Ooh, Daniel rustling my jimmies. I need to grab one? Dude, I'm D if you're D, Daniel. <laughs> I'm D if you're D. Post whatever pictures. Oh, speaking of. So I, I filmed myself reacting to my first roll of film. And then it got corrupted. So that vlog is never coming out. <laughs> Whoops. I will, I'll react to another <laughs> set of film. <laughs> oh wells, yeah. So, fake it? No, I can't fake it. I'll just say this is not my first role. Yeah. Just script it. Dude, yeah, it's insane. T2s are so expensive. I saw a video from, I think Grainy, they put one out recently. Just this, it's just a point and shoot, but they're going for, I think it's even more than a grand, no? Isn't it like 1300 on eBay? Let's check eBay.com. Contacts T2. Oh, just kidding. It's not as high as I thought anymore. Oh, it's sub 1,000 now. It's sub 1,000. Oh, T3, is T3 the sought after one? The one with the Zeiss lens? 1,400, my goodness. Double teeth near mint in case. 2.1K for a point and shoot Vintage camera, holy crap. All contacts have Zeiss lens, yeah. I think Kylie Jenner, yeah, it seems like that's why people are jumping to it. I saw the clip of her, I think it was on the Jimmy Fallon show. Oh, Frank Ocean uses a T3 too? 
Oh dang. A lot of fashion shooters. I see. Even Yashka T4s. Yeah, you're right. My ne my next goal is probably not that though. T4 lens coating is too contrasty. IMO T2 was perfect. Mm, Doc Thok, thanks for the tier one sub. Fuzzy Num Num, thanks for the prime. Apple juice with the prime. Uh, Blanky, thank you so much for the tip. Sorry, I missed this. I don't know if you're still here. I always wonder 60% from watching your stream. I was thinking of getting the Ampro 2 to start with. I also don't know which switches I want to go with that is quiet. Cherry MX Red or Silver? If you want a silent switch, go with Cherry Silent Switches. Uh, I would probably recommend the Red over Black. Uh, Ampro 2 is more than good enough as a starting keyboard. And Jerry is bad. Thanks for gifting a sub. Wait, do you watch Grainy Day Zombie Month? Yeah, he. I, I actually like his videos. He's got very like. He's got extremely dry, <laughs> and old crass humor, which I really like. Okay, I don't really like it. I think he does go a little overboard in his videos, but I like his videos. It's a mood. Get a robotic camera arm as the ultimate flex. I have no space for a robotic camera arm. Uh, Ansel Adams to autofocus, auto exposure, point and shoots, different strokes. Uh, I see. I do, I like his videos. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you watched him. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should turn. I should just turn TS Snipes into a film. Film channel, huh? My latest video on the film camera popped off for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe film is the new content to put out. Rig a camera to follow you around the room? <clears throat> Maybe. Do you plan on getting in on the grid 650? Probably not. Probably not. Do you like Critical Penguin Zero? He really has dry humor. Uh, yes. I, I mean, I personally enjoy dry humor. I think both Penguin and Grainy Day go a little... They could tone it down like a little bit. I think they're both a little too much. But at the same time, I guess it also brings in the views. But yeah, I, I personally do like dry humor. Dude, I tried to buy some Porsche 400-800 at Freestyle the other day. Some whale bought every roll the same morning I went in. <laughs> GG. Sir Apocalypse, hello! We used your keycap set today. Darling looks amazing on white. We built up a clipe. White cases are the way. When can we see your film? Whenever it gets developed. <laughs> My first roll, I didn't share too much because it was just pictures of Jen. I don't know. I didn't want to like just blast that on Tia types <laughs> but these next four roles I got developed probably I can share a lot of it it looks good on white black and red ooh yeah this one personal nope this is a uh client build gmk sleeves interest check post to get the gmk sleeves people off my thread i probably won't make an interest check sleeves will go straight into goodbye no interest check do you know what color scoggy got no idea they just sent me one to play around with did not get to choose <laughs> Ooh, question chat. Do you guys have places you guys recommend for printing photos in high quality? If I ever want to print. Where do you guys use for printing photos? Walmart? Because I've just used Costco in the past. Yeah, Costco printing, it's not bad. 
I've used Costco printing quite a bit actually. <laughs> Do you want it mounted too or just prints? Mm, yeah, sure, mounted. Yeah. Crystal, Fuji Crystal Archive. Paper? Wait, this looks like this is just a paper. Is this a place you go to print? Oh, it's the paper they use. Oh, hold on, hold on. I should document this. Let me document this. Uh, I've been I've been learning from Mr. Daniel JK. All the ins and outs. Oh, I gotta make a page for Mr. Daniel JK too. Daniel JK, AKA Fox Box, the real one. Fuji Crystal Archive is the paper Costco uses. Should I show off some of the notes I have? <laughs> Follow him now? Oh, I gotta keep tabs on his website too. HTTPS colon colon danieljk.com. I think it's Daniel JK. I already have your website bookmarked, but yes, yeah, Daniel JK. Easy clap, we got it. You should get your own printer, no, no space. I would like to though, that would be fun. Some people think the chemicals are way too polluting for it to continue. That's what I've heard, that for uh, developing film and scanning, like it is still, like the chemicals are very not environment friendly. But I feel like that, that technology could be changed, you know? Don't do a printer, I have one, used it four times, now it just collects dust. Daniel JK, your stream is about to blow up, he's been plugging you all day? Yes sirs. Where's my uh, affiliate link? Mr. Daniel JK. I would like a danieljk.com slash types referral link. Uh, any new client that comes through my referral link, I get a 10% off. Hey, I was gonna print headshots and post them all over his walls. <laughs> you can be my agent? 20% cut? I'm D. Wait, I just wanna hire you though. When can I hire you? Are you willing to work for non reasonable prices? But I will pay you an exposure. <laughs> If you're in Irvine, these guys are awesome. Pro Photo Connection. I think they came up in my research for local places. I guess I should try them out. Their scan time looks like it is quicker. <laughs> I wanna go to a TIA Types gallery. These headshots are gonna be labeled and organized. Hire me as your full-time luber. I will over lube your switches. Okay. Just be careful with pro photo connection. Wait, why? They're sort of snooby, weird landscape guys. Mm. Well, it doesn't matter whether I ship to Irvine or Portland. The shipping cost, I don't think makes too much of a difference. Cause I still have to ship to Irvine. I'm not driving out to Irvine every time. <laughs> I need to get film developed. Yeah, the Portland app is nice. I tried the other one that I rec that I found, Daniel, and the quality wasn't as nice as the Portland ones. I think I'm just gonna stick with these guys. They take a long time, but it's not like I'm doing client shoots. I'm okay with waiting. The Portland film was more expensive too, but it did look nicer, the results. Mr. Dixie, hello. I could buy an Aerie Alexa with all the exposure pay I've gotten. Hell yeah. Ooh, maybe I should hire Major Spooks. Oh no, but he's, he's not local. <laughs> um, is the Lost 7U mixed with your dual shot set? Ooh, that's a good theory. I should check dual shot, maybe. Maybe. 
Did you ever sell your C200? Nope, it is still being used here as my third camera angle. I need a Bauer PCB. I'll move to LA and loot for you. No, no, no. Would you be mad if I sent you a print? Why would I be mad? No. Uh, hire me, I use iPhone 11. Ooh, Croissant has the best camera insta win. Oh, I did pick up. Someone recommended this on my Discord after I talked about storing the negatives, so. One day, oh, hold on, hold on. You know, one, one day I'll have this film filled up. Oh, I guess I could show some of the pictures I took. Because me being a dummy, I had no idea what I was ordering the first time. I was just kind of checking things off on the order form. And one of the things I checked off was physical printing. So I have physical prints of this. Hmm, what can I... Maybe not show this. Maybe not that. Maybe not this. Maybe not this. Maybe not this. Maybe not this either. <laughs> no, they're they're not news, but it's just. I mean, I just told Jen to do like troll poses. <laughs> this was the first ever shot I guess I took on the hustle blood. And her, her, I felt like her outfit matched. I didn't tell her I was just gonna take pictures of her, but her outfit, I liked the color and it went well with like the house. Yeah, I just told her to do like troll stuff like this. <laughs> just like random troll stuff. I wasn't really caring too much about like the pictures. I just wanted to make sure I was nailing focus and that the camera worked. Yeah, but it's so it's so interesting how like you can push the highlights insanely. Is this a different entirely different school of thought from digital? You want to preserve highlights because <clears throat> once it's clipped, it's gone. But for film, you can bring it back quite a bit. Yeah. But the colors are so nice. I now understand the portrait hype. Slide film exposure minus six is more like digital. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, I mean, I still do try to preserve for. I'm not like pushing it insanely, but I think next time, oh, for this, these newer rolls. So this was exposed for box speed. The, the rolls I sent in, I had them all exposed for half a stop under. So hopefully that gives a more pastel, that classic pastel portrait look. This one doesn't look super pastel. I want to see how that pastel looks in person. But yeah. And six by six, kind of sick too, having the square format. I noticed shooting portrait under does too much. Uh, sorry, did I, did I say half? Is 320 half or a third? I forget. Oh, doesn't do too much. Oh, really? Oh, I see. So should I just, should I just set my 400 to 200 or 100 then? Go even lower? 320 equals a third. Okay, I set it for a third under. I want to get into film, but it seems so much harder than digital. Is it much harder? I, I thought it would be hard. It's not that hard actually. Well, 
I don't know, maybe I'm biased, I, but I had, I always had the preconception that it was significantly harder. Um, it's just a little scary initially because you don't, you can't check immediately whether you nailed the shot. But I don't know, my first roll turned out okay. <laughs> it's not too hard. You could have RZ67 face off. Okay, I'm not competing with the master. Okay, buddy, nice try. <laughs> That's like going into war with no weapons. Man, I got a big old box. <laughs> Film is very forgiving. Yeah, so... <laughs> I guess the other thing, I'm I'm still not. I mean, it's it sounds like you just blast through your 35 mil. For me, it's still precious, even though 35 is much cheaper than medium format. It's still money for me. I I need to get into the mindset of shooting more with my 35. Yeah, but I I think after trying film, it's not as hard as I thought it was, and it's really fun. It's really fun. It does suck that you are somewhat bound by uh, film speeds that are fairly, fairly low. Like I can't shoot film at night now, and I don't really like I don't I don't like the like flash blasted film look. I could buy a flash, but film you're kind of well. Okay, I can't shoot people at night because I mostly shoot people. I think. Get Sinistal 800 push to 3200. Oh. People, sh you can push to 3200? Let me show you some pics. All right. Enlighten me, Mr. Daniel. I, have, I haven't done any, I mean, I also haven't done like pushing and pulling. So I guess that's something I want to, that's something I should try out too. I only shoot people. <laughs> Wait, so when you push 400, to 3200, what does that mean? Is that when you would tell the lab to do like plush, do it like a plus four push? I'm guessing you still take the picture. You would read it, how does that work? I haven't looked into pushing and pulling. <laughs> Can you do 10 push, wait, did someone claim? No one's claimed. 400 to 3200 is three stop push. So you meter at 3200. Oh, I see. You meter as if it's 3200 and then you tell the lap to push it three stops. I see. Mm. Trade-off is film usually gets more contrast. I see. I see. Well, guess guess I can try shooting at night now. Film is spooky. It's pretty fun. I encourage everyone to get into it. In a in a in a modern day age where everything is fast paced, I've been I've been enjoying it. Why do people hate pee? I have like 15 roles I need to develop. Merg, fi can't find it? All right, picks or it didn't happen, Daniel. You're lying to me now. Picks or it didn't happen. Portra pushes very well, try it out. Okay, I'll have to try it out then. Yeah, because my mindset was, oh, it's nighttime, can't shoot no more unless I have a tripod, but I don't. <laughs> so I haven't been shooting at night. But I guess I should try it out. I want to get a dynamic XLR microphone. Any recommendations for a plug-in thing? Uh, if you're looking for dynamic, just get a Shure SM7B or even the new one that came out, MV7. Both are pretty nice. 
Yo, Frackno, thank you so much for the 10 months. Hello, Dustin, thank you for gifting a sub. Sleepy Soggy with the six months. Fee, Fire, Water, Thunder. Thank you so much for the Prime. Zubu with the Prime. Dwarfy with the Tier 1. People sat thank you for the bits. When are we going to have Mr. Norbauer here in the stream someday next year? Uh, if the pandemic's over next year, I'm down. Thok, Doc, Thok, Doc, thanks for the Tier 1. Then I have to plug it into PC. Wait, what? Then I have to plug it into PC. I need the adapt. Well, if you get any XLR mic, you're gonna need to power it somehow. Rode Pod mic is also good, not as game hungry. Oh yes, Rode Pod mic. I think most people use the uh, they use the Cloud Lifter with the SM7B because yeah, the SM7B is very is very power hungry. If you do push for night photography, the other thing is that the whole roll can only be shot at night. Ooh, I see. I see. I know I want to buy no middle. You know, dog? <laughs> uh, you can get the, uh, the new one, the MV7. It has USB output and nowhere near as power hungry as the SM7B. This is long stream? Oh yeah, I got carried away talking in the chat. Dang, it's two. I still have an hour. I have a call at three. I could hang out until... Oh, I didn't eat though. I should eat. Talking to the Daniel Jake. Ooh. Let me show you guys. Uh, should I show... Should I make it a video? I was thinking of making it a video. Am I revealing too much right now? Yeah, let's make it a feature video. Where did you get that hoodie? This is from Team Liquid. It's their latest merch. Collaboration with Toki Doki. Um, <clears throat> Walking vlogs, thanks for the bits. John, Fio, thanks for the bits. Uh, if you're already done with the stream, can I see the keyboard? Yes. Did you do those prints? No, these prints are from the lab that I get my film developed from. They have a, they offer to print as well. Well, they do prints. That's their, they do developing, but I think their main is actually printing. I mean, they have prints in their website name. Yeah, they do prints. Headed out, sent you a PM. All right, thanks. Glar says, hello, the stream is finished. Yeah, you're very late. Very late. All right, since Clarsus is here, let's end stream. Let's find someone to raid. Who is live? Who is live on Twitch? <clears throat> Nathan, answer me. Hello. Christopher Yee, cause birthday, eight beer, he just went live. Oh, I have to refresh. Okay, I see her. Does she have a starting soon screen? I guess we'll kill time until she goes live. I would raid Chris, but he's, <laughs> he's sitting at 5,000 viewers. Okay, we'll wait until eight beer, he's uh, starting soon is over. Yeah, Chris has been popping off. His streams have been lit. He's way too famous for me now. Any idea what you're building your plus B with? I don't know. Um, it looks really nice. What kind of quick sound test? Sound test, you can watch the VOD. What is Chris's channel? It's just his name, Christopher Yi. When are you gonna start doing PC builds? Okay. All right, let me guys, let me show you guys uh, the app I've been using as of late.
Did the plus B move around easily because of the lack of feet? I don't remember. I kind of put it back in its box as soon as it was built. I have yet to take it out and play around with it. Because I just built up this key cult board. So I gotta use it. Uh, I don't remember it sliding around too much though. But it definitely was movable. Super Taco, things are the prime. Borigan, things are the prime. So. Hey, chair question. How do you like the Aeron for long sitting sessions gaming? I love it. I love the Aeron. Can we raid dead encryption? Is dead encryption live? Oh, he is. Dang, what's he doing live? He hasn't streamed. What? Is he back streaming again? <laughs> oh, he streamed 19 days ago. What the? Interesting. I didn't know he still streamed. We'll wait him another time. Can you please calm down the Pepegas that have been gathering around you? What do you mean? What do you mean around me? Wait, BT Easy. Wait, BT Easy streams? Oh, I didn't know. I should follow him. Wait, Apiary just went offline. Is she not streaming? Do we rate someone else? I'm considering moving Q&H to a separate server. Do you really want to switch between servers? Wait, Apiary just went offline. Maybe we raid someone else. <laughs> uh, he raided me the other day. Super cool. I see. I see you here. It was fun. Have a good one, old bites. Thank you for stopping by today. I will let someone else mod it. <laughs> Oh, her stream is back. Well, I guess I'll raid her. Mm, what is she building? Oh, she's building a mode 80. Uh, Nega Oryx is doing keyboard build with mid Wait, what? No way. Right now? I swear I follow. Oh, she is live. Oh, shoot. She's doing a keyboard build with Mint Lodica. Interesting. TFTI. Feels bad. Didn't get invited. That's cool though. Dang, this seems kind of fun too. Monka S mode? Oh. <laughs> Raid yourself and start subathon? Okay. You gonna be on for DGN hours tonight? Wait, what's DGN hours? Is there something going on tonight? Wait, is Mint, is Apiary offline again? Should I not raid her? Oh no, she's live. I'm gonna just raid right now, cause I'm getting hungry. Oh wait, she just went offline. <laughs> wait, should I not raid her? <laughs> Maybe I raid someone else. She just blocked me? Ah, feels bad. Um. Is she gonna go live? Wait, can you get, oh, she just went live. Oh, I just got him with an ad. Okay, if she Fs one more time, I'll go raid someone else. But I'm hit with an ad right now, so I can't tell.
When's next Fox stream? I don't know. That's up to Fox. What's for lunch? I'm not sure. Gotta go check. Uh... Okay, looks like she's live again. Probs next week. Ooh. All right, she's live. We're gonna go give her a raid. Hope your stream doesn't F. Teha types raid. Teha keyboard. All right, have fun in her stream. I will be streaming tomorrow too. I don't know what time yet. Maybe a night stream, maybe a morning stream. Who knows? But yeah, have fun in her stream. She's building a mode 80. You guys know her. I'm gonna go eat lunch. Thank you for hanging out. See you nerds.